Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Hey, hey. I am the hey. hey. that, that was a really. Hey, hey. 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 There wasn't scheming. No, no. <laughs> oh my God. How, uh, how are you guys doing today? How, how's everything Good. treating you? Doing fantastic. Hydrated. I don't. Um, do you ever, as 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 streamers, uh, do you ever fear that you'll switch scenes and something will horribly go wrong? Just yes. in general. Just oh, is absolutely. That, is oh, that absolutely. I just want to make 100%. sure. Hundred yeah. percent. I have a moment of dread before I switch over to the D and D scene, and I'm like, I have something... nightmares about this. <laughs> I haven't sometimes. You know, I I don't think I don't think I've had streaming Not to that point yet. nightmares. Okay. I don't think I have. Good but for you. I, I don't I don't think I have. I'm yeah, I don't know. I'll I honestly I'll have to I'll I don't know. And I'm panicking because now it's like, should I have? I'm um, does that mean, should, I, should I have had Am I not putting or? enough work into my streams that I'm not having nightmares about it? Oh it's, god. This is this is this is the world we live. Have you broken down and cried about your career in streaming? Well you're not doing it hard enough. You're like, oh, is that how You're not? Oh, is that, okay. Is that what how, an amateur? Is that how that's supposed to work? I don't know. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with session two, and we'll start with uh, we're going to do a full session recap. Uh, Naomi, take it away. All I'm kidding. Right, I'm so kidding. I'm kidding. We started in the what? tavern, and uh, we Did had it? Johan Hammerbelt, who's been with the Shadow what? Hunters for a very long time, <laughs> standing at the head of this table. We were all drinking, having a wonderful time, and they were like, "Congratulations, baby Shadow Hunters! It's time for you all to go on a motherfucking mission." And then this uh, this douchebag, Mikhail LeBron, this gray like maybe wolf man, maybe not. Came in and was like, "Ew, I've got the good shit." Oh, and then it was boy. actually really bad shit. But we all drank it and took it like fucking champions while eating our potato stew oh, and shadow boy. grog. And then uh, we went and got our weapons and shit. And that guy was like, well, "You guys are asking for a little much from me, you know?" Because we all wanted alcoholism bullshit in our weapons because no, we're that was all just alcoholics. No, that was um, just and you. then. Yeah, well, you. okay, but also oh. Lobos' character, I'm who's, whose name is oh. Gareth, he's totally an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also have a drug addict. <laughs> and then this girl, the other woman, was like, oh, "Mommy, name is Madame Alark, and and my husband is probably dead by this giant um thing that uh, the troll blood is eating him. Oh my god!" And we we went and found it and killed it. And then um, but also Vanya spat in Cheat's mouth, which was pretty poggers. Um, gave her some inspiration. <laughs> And then we were like, okay, away. we're going to the north. I was there. It was pretty pog. <laughs> it was pretty poggers. I was there. It was pretty poggers. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, continue, Naomi. Continue. No, and then and then we chose to go to the north. To the north. After you, oh, after you dangerous path. After you saved the Kin Hollow Farm from the troll blood. So that, uh, wow. Oh. God that damn. That was an epic fight. That was, uh, thank you. But that was an epic uh, recap. I was just... I was, uh, I was, I was memeing, I was memeing Na Naomi to like, to <laughs> like just poke the bear a little bit, and she was ready to go, and I am <laughs> had just, selfish <laughs> dungeon master. I'm so happy, yeah, well, normally I don't, I don't ask players to recap, because I feel like I'm putting them on the spot when I do that, um, but I also just don't like recapping, because I want to get in the fucking action, so that was just, <laughs> That was the best of, of, of both worlds, of all worlds, so thank you. That was amazing. Of thank both you. worlds. Thank you. I nominate Naomi much. for, mm -hmm. you know, to do this every time. Okay, <laughs> done. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. I can agree to that. It's, uh, wow. Excellent. We, we, will you, do you agree? No, seriously? Like, yeah. I would be down for okay. that. Okay. Oh, Bullet shit. Point there you go. Yeah, you got it. Oh. Official recapper. Oh God! Fantastic. Asking you shall receive sometimes. Should I have you know? a Should I have an official recapper for all of my games? Though? There you, but there you have it already. There, oh, she is but here. all of my games, Naomi. like each, every, she has each. Has to recap yes. every game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all the games. Oh, That's my. too much homework. I'm sorry. That's too much. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> One person per game. We found the limit. We found the limit, and I'm very happy we did. All right. So that's the. Uh, Shit, god damn. That's the official recap. I'm so fucking happy. All right. Well, after you've dispatched with the troll blood, who has almost dispatched you, um, you know, the splatterings of cow carcass, just all about. Um, oh, also really funny moment, and I don't want to uh, bully too hard. Uh, I really liked how Vanya 
uh, critically missed up the uh, windmill and, and oh really well, you have to talk about that that was uh, it was okay. it happens you know okay. mm. session one okay I slipped I slipped it was a slippery wall okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I just uh, you know I was kind of distracted I was like looking back kind of like look, look at what's happening mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. everyone is okay mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. I just just find the it was like slippery, man. And, and, and El, That's it. Uh, and now, uh, and now, right. did did her recap. So there we go. We I, got two yeah. recaps. In <laughs> it one was just session. slippery, man. It was just slippery, man. That's it. That's that's TLDR. I think okay. that's a good way to weaponize recaps felt. as well as when you just call out <laughs> characters for shit that didn't happen. You're like, excuse me, I'd like to correct that. And I'm like, please go ahead. And that's like, I've been corrected, and we now have a recap. Wow, that's just great, wonderful. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Terrible. Tactical Absolute or positioning terrible. to the ground. That's right. <laughs> terrible. Yep. Terrible. All right. So, uh, yeah, you guys have dispatched of the troll blood. <clears throat> it will now be heading back to Colkirk. Yes, I believe. Question. Uh, so how um, fucked oh. up are the remains of Madame Elark's uh, deceased husband? husband? Oh, not, oh, not, oh, wait. Not. Are we dragging him by the oh, way? No, is that happening? Ooh, how, all right. Is yeah. that what I said? Oh, hold on. Is his body intact? Okay. So uh, upon investigation, <laughs> you can... I won't even ask you for a medicine check because you can just see it with your own eyes. Just this slathering of just gore and oh. chunks of meat is the best way to describe the remains of mm. uh, of the uh, the good Kin Hollow farmer. Uh, so so he he's is, not in one piece. He is. He is definitely uh, nothing remains of. of he's this in a one. lot of pieces. He's in a lot of pieces. Yes, and more. But more importantly, and more dreadful. Uh, there isn't a resemblance of a man in the Kin Hollow Farm, as the troll blood had been feasting upon him for, at this point, several hours, um, deciding to eat man instead of cow. Uh, but are we sure it's the man? Are we uh, sure it's him? You can, uh, if you would like, uh, you could do a medicine check or an investigation check. Uh, medicine will be uh, at a lower, um, at a lower DC, uh, so, but investigation wanna, check will be higher. I'll assist anybody doing a medicine check. Are uh, you proficient <clears throat> in medicine, good sir? I am. Then yes, you will be able to assist. By the way, certain there, I will let you know that certain skills in this game, uh, you cannot use the help action on unless you are proficient in it. Mm -hmm. So just FYI, medicine. I mean, I got a plus one in medicine. You want me to take a look? <laughs> I was, I, I was, I have a plus three. I w was interested in taking Ooh. a look. Okay. <laughs> You are you are free to do so. Okay, I'll take a look. Take a is, look. Is the assist um, a plus die or another reroll? It okay. is a. Uh, it'll be an advantage, which I shall roll for you now. Your second dice was a critical miss, so we will take Damn. the we will take the eleven. Uh, yeah, you'll begin to investigate the remnants of the carcass, and as you kind of peel away the bloody viscera, good news, you found a fragment of a humanoid rib. You oh. kind of like feel it on your side and you look over there and like poke the rib a little bit. You're like, this feels... Uh, it's kind of stinky. This is definitely not a, a rib uh, from a some sort of bovine that you would eat over in Kulkirk. Uh, this definitely is humanoid uh, in nature and snapped. Uh, just terrible, terrible fate for this man. Um, but yes, that medicine check will, will absolutely... Um, cement and uh, validate that that was the the King Hollow farmer. Is there anything on like on maybe in the pile of gore and guts that is maybe a belonging? Mm. Uh, you know, maybe well, appendage like since, something. <clears throat> Vanya, since you are uh, especially curious, I will have you yes. roll the investigation check as you kind of poke through the viscera mm. of the corpse to see what you can find. Investigation, huh? Mm -hmm. really Tell me okay. what? Um, how? How? Uh, what does Vanya feel about just just gratuitous gore? Is is Vanya okay with it, or would you say oh, Vanya yeah. has a bit of a weak stomach? Okay. No, no, no. I'm I'm totally okay. But I okay. don't want to go like just searching. You know, I don't want to get my hands dirty or anything. So mm -hmm. I just uh, I want to like you know perceive. I just look kind of what's happening. Smiley does she look face. like she's about to start? digging through it. Absolutely not. You'll actually see Vanya's 
taking her distance and I okay. almost imagine and correct me if I'm wrong bloody you're just like well isn't there something in the in there like isn't there mm. some sort of possession or something that right. can we check over there please and then like yes. so go ahead and do the perception check uh, I will let you know um, and there, there's gonna be a lot of uh, little mini tutorials in this session today but all of them will enhance, I'm hoping will enhance the experience. Uh, you can, instead of in lieu of an investigation, I saw the perception, uh, roll a perception check, but because you are not doing so thoroughly, uh, the DC will be higher. So uh, as hmm. you kind of look off in the distance and look around, you are uncertain if chunks of viscera is a a any objects uh, of the remains themselves. And uh, with that check, uh, you unfortunately cannot tell from the distance that you're in even if you were like right up against it like looking around you can't tell okay uh a, a I, I want to just investigation will be required <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, i want to talk to the rest of the team feel free um <clears throat> um uh is there anyone who wouldn't mind taking a look in here maybe there's something we can get back to that poor woman well, I mean, we could always bring his head back. Um, I don't think well, that's the that right thing to, thing to do. Here. As she as she states, head. You look back to the uh, the pile of, of 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 the corpse. No head, evident or present. So no head. Oh no! I mean, this literally looks <laughs> like you ever you ever make burgers before? Like you ever fuck with ground beef? <laughs> Fuck ground yes, beef all the time. Bloody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you but like, ground? <laughs> have you ever fucked with ground beef oh, so bad that you're and just frozen like, eggs? And fro yeah. But as wow. you're as you're pounding, <laughs> like as you're submit, like like as you're trying to form the beef, you kind of overform it, <laughs> and it almost turns into this like meat paste because you've overworked the uh, the burger. That is what you're looking at right now. Oh An overworked gosh. pile of uh, human remains. <sighs> Gareth is so. going to be off to the side, uh, actually digging a grave, just kind of a, away from mm. everybody else. She's just right. laying on her back, star-shaped, on the ground. Um, so uh, uh, you'll uh, easily, Gareth, find a find a shovel, uh, since you these are farms, <laughs> uh, and yeah, you'll begin to build a hole. Fortunately, it doesn't have to be. Uh, elongated or human shape, nothing to worry about with that. Uh, just a big giant, just a open pit to put the uh, the pile of remains into if you decide. Uh, and hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and do a private roll. And cheats is successfully laying on the ground. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> the the body of uh of the troll blood that we slaughtered. Is there a physical means of transporting the shadow orb that began to emerge from its corpse? Ah, uh, yes, the orb that is currently hovering over the corpse. Um, so it currently is transformed into um, this sort of like orb of energy. Um, and I will let you know, Marius, that your armor is equipped uh, to absorb the essence, uh, and you can at that point oh my. hold the essence, uh, return back to Kulkirk, where the artificers and smiths will be able to uh, transform and manifest the energy into Fan. into an object of uh, your desire. Fantastic! Raising that clawed prosthetic, uh, crystals would emerge along his forearm, and he would. Uh, sort of begin grasping at the orb until it is fully absorbed. Yep. So as you hold the the, the hand, uh, you've, you've probably done this a couple of times before. You've got the experience. Uh, you'll watch as the orb slowly, the energy, the orb of the energy just sort of dissipates uh, within your hand. Uh, the claw in your hand will kind of give this, this violet glow um, where it almost seems like the natural light or what exists as natural light uh, almost dims as your hand is covered in, in a cloud of darkness before then that cloud will fade and you will have successfully absorb the energy. I've prepared this for transportation. This. I'm ready to leave whenever you are. 
You know, that'll never get, uh, that'll never not be freaky to watch. Did you just see the bug-eyed, like, zonked-out eyes of Cheats' gigantic pupils staring at you? <laughs> uh, Cheats, you got a good high going on, not only from the hit that you took in the battle, um, but also the adrenaline that is surging through your body right now. A bit of a glow about her eyes, really. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whoa, you've had a lot of drugs. I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can assure you this action is for the betterment of our party. Oh, no, I, I know, I, I know. It's just... Eh, still no, worried. Claw thing. <laughs> eh. She kind of, like, holds her hands out, like, like claws going... Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> he sort of looks at the clawed hand for a moment. I'll see about making modifications to make it more appealing. Oh, no, I think it's cool. It's just freaky. Freaky cool. Cool freaky. As you stare at the claw, Marius, you'll kind of look at its wear. Uh, this was something that you had created um, in your early days of apprenticeship uh, as a sort of method to transport dark en uh, shadow energies over to Kolkirk. Uh, the tools that are typically used are a bit um, archaic uh, when it comes to energy transfer. So the re one of the main reasons why you applied this modification to your claw is to hopefully advance the technology uh, uh, around. But perhaps, you know, especially with cheat staring and a couple of uh, comments that have been made as a claw of a fiend or the claw of Asmodeus, as someone has once stated to you before, uh, if you do wish to make it less intimidating, you may be able to do so with the, as a project, <laughs> if you so decide. I love my claws, not going anywhere. <laughs> she's just yeah. giving you like claw yeah. thumbs up, like <laughs> Fuck she's yeah. moving her thumb back and forth, looking at it. Energy uh, intact, information uh, gathered from the corpse of the human paste. What do you do now? Uh, the hole has been officially dug. Uh, Gareth, Gareth will just walk back over, and uh, if there's nothing else to do here, and he'll motion towards the the corpse. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a shame about him. Uh, Gareth, you can uh, easily scoop the remains using the shovel that dug the hole, if you wish. Oh, I'll scoop. And Let us put he'll, he'll skin hollow to rest. Mm. Uh, he'll, he'll nod and, and, and scoop and bury silently and give kind of a, a moment of silence for that. Three scoops. One, <laughs> two, <Jesus>. three. <laughs> As you'll hear just the sound of, yep, you'll just hear the <laughs> as it falls into the pit below. You'll push the dirt over and share that moment of silence. All right. Taking, uh, taking a small rock, uh, I'm going to sort of press it between, or sort of clutch it firmly by that clawed hand, uh, and I'm going to use uh, magical tinkering. Uh, and I'm going to leave a little signifier or a little symbol uh, for Lord Ken Hollow for his wife when she mm -hmm. returns. Basically a rest in peace or uh, rest in peace here type deal. Okay. Uh, is there a symbol that you commonly use or are you trying something more? Unique? The diamond like icon that uh, is sort of shown on the pieces that he makes. It's his own little uh, engineering mark. Are you putting your own fucking branding on a gravestone? <laughs> not on the not on the gravestone, but it's the symbol that projects the words. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. I thought you were like. No, I'm not. I'm not Marius trying to wet my here. brand. <laughs> <laughs> that is super distasteful. <laughs> Did this tomorrow. If you need to be buried, Marius will do <laughs> it. <laughs> like Pompeii level shit, like I'm rolling around, drawing yeah, dicks yeah, everywhere yeah. type yeah. deal. Oh my god. Oh good. For all oh. your burying needs, Marius <laughs> got you. Oh my god, this is so clean. Who did this? Marius. Oh, mm. oh he's a business card. Mm. Oh. Mm, I'll have to reach out to cold cook at some That's time. My, I'm about my to side, side business. The QR, <laughs> QR scanner here. <laughs> Look, look. 
Look. <laughs> Look, you got your work, you got your job, and then you got your hustle. So I respect it. It's good. I got it. Um, all right. Uh, the body has been buried. Uh, you have extracted the energy. The troll blood has been dispatched. Uh, silence will fall over the Kitten Hollow Farm as a cold, uh, as a cold, dark wind will just kind of brush through. And uh, yeah, you are. You you will uh, feel if you decide to confident that your work here is done, unless there is anything else you wish to do before departing the farm. I'm ready to leave when you are. All right. Let, let's yep. off. Jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, I guess. Let's go. <laughs> uh, cheats will roll out of the farm, uh, currently laying down on the ground, as everyone will. <laughs> no, she doesn't roll. Don't <laughs> get up. <laughs> <laughs> she rolls, wraps around in a blanket, and Rolls away. <laughs> You'll pass you heard through. It. You heard it. I get a blanket. Yeah. Plus five. Plus five. Plus five. Plus five. Plus five. Uh, blankets are for winners. <laughs> blankets are for winners. Anyways. Oh, uh, so my you... <laughs> <You're gone. laughs> Sorry. Are you uh, okay? You'll... Yeah, no, I'm good. You activated him. <laughs> They're for winners. They're for winners. Uh, you'll, uh... I activated him. <laughs> terrible. It's awful. Uh, you'll, uh... You'll mark... <laughs> Here you go. You know what? I'm gonna give him a mobile blanket just for that fucking bit. There you go. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, as you'll cross through. Let me uh, lay it over my legs. They're so cold. <laughs> Uh, as you'll march over to the north, you'll pass through the uh, old temple ruins that have been long since excavated. Uh, you'll actually, a little bit of uh, lore for you, uh, the remains of the West Temple ruins uh, were assistant in uh, creating some key components in Kolkirk, specifically uh, the re-engineered uh, shards that provide a, uh, a, albeit a small source of energy within the, uh, see, uh, the city of Kolkirk. Kirk. Um, as I've told you guys a couple of times before, technology in Asmodia is a little behind the curve when it comes to the rest of Io, and that's because of the constant curse of shadow that has just warped this land. It has prevented uh, it, it, it has prevented a stable connection to the Deidic Vale where most energy and technology originates. Um, so this is just, uh, yeah, just a little bit of a uh, a little bit of lore for you as you return back to Kolkirk. Uh, would you guys return back to the uh, the Hunter's Hall? The Grand Hall, excuse me. I think so. Indeed. Yeah, ready yeah. to report I'm... to the Marshal if he's still around. A oh, restock he... on alcohol. Uh, uh. You can absolutely do that here. Uh, in fact, the Grand Hall is filled with uh, plenty of of, of, of like mead made from the uh, the, the potatoes uh, that grow uh, from over here. Uh, there are some hops in air quotes, and the reason why I say air quotes is because these are some shitty ass hops. I'm not gonna lie to you. They, <laughs> it, it is not. It is. Uh, it is not good. It is not good. It is not tasty. And uh, and yeah, but it will suffice and get you. Uh, a real low buzz uh, if you so require it. You know, they could always misspell hops and then it could just be the slogan, Shadow Grog, it's made of hope and potatoes. It's made of hopes. That's exactly hope, that's hope and potatoes. Ho hope, hope and potatoes. Uh, you'll return back to the Grand Hall where you will see Johan Hammerbelt, the, the marshal of these lands, uh, sitting, uh, kind of finishing uh, a quiet meal to himself. Uh, one thing you'll know about Johan, he doesn't necessarily eat with everyone um and that's only because while celebrations are happening within the hall he prefers the merriment uh of his fellow hunters over actual nutritional value and, and eating so plenty of drinking plenty of boastus uh boasting and celebration with the hunters uh but th now that a moment of silence has fallen over the hall uh you'll just kind of see him eating uh some of the potatoes and some of the uh the the uh the aged meat and uh you'll enter the grand hall you'll hear the heavy sounds of the uh the ornate doors <laughs> open up wide as you walk in johan will look up to you um and not i mean it definitely an approved look uh not one of like shock or amazement uh because you are professionals after all or aspiring professionals uh the look that johan 
will give you before say stating uh, the following. Is it done? The look he gives you isn't necessarily one of like non shock or surprise as if he's not impressed with what you've done. It's just more of a look of confidence that he knew you would be able to handle the job. Yes, Marshal. He'll uh, finish up his plate before he cleans again. And he says, uh, anything to report from what you've spotted? Thankfully, it was only one troll blood. Lord Kinhollow was lost and had been for some time. Gareth was kind enough to prepare for him a resting spot in the farm. He's kind of a mound of meat. Shh. <laughs> you'll, you'll just, <laughs> as you say that, you'll know, will just be like, <laughs> like chokes on a piece of potato. The lights in Marius's helmet flicker momentarily. <laughs> it's fortunate to see that death will not sway you. <sighs> Very well then. And he'll just kind of like brush off his face. And he'll. Uh, oh, guy. He'll mention over. He says, The, uh, the Lady Kinhollow will not be returning to the farm. It seems that she is. Uh, exchanged her grief for a burning vengeance. She has requested to join the Order. And I have accepted. For whatever reason you decide to become a hunter, matters not. Only if the flame fuels within you, it allows us to dispatch of our shadowy foes easily. And so, the Kinhalo farm will be taken in possession of the Sentinels. Good work, everyone. Thank you, Marshal. We also procured a shadow orb from the Troll Blood. Speak with Cheadle, he'll know what to do with it. Feel free to feel free to do whatever you wish with that energy. Uh, we won't store it in all vaults. You're going on a harrowing journey. You'll need all the assistance that you can get. And I believe that those spoils were owned by you. Yes? He looks to the whole party. Yes, Marshal. And do with it as you will. Report to report to uh, to to the maneuver on Master Cheadle before you rest. You'll be leaving tomorrow, correct? There's a nod. thing in the morning. He smiles. I wish you safe journey. I would wish you luck, but I feel you do not need it. The five of you are probably some of our most capable apprentices we've seen pass through these halls in quite some time. Your honor is Marshal. Shadows at your back. Please do not take this as flattery. Just know that I know you are capable of it. But I would ask you all to be careful on your way. I was hoping to request something of you while you are here during your journeys. Mm -hmm. He will roll out a map over on the table, and he'll state. Normally, uh, a shadow hunter apprentice would choose their path, where they head to the north or to the south, uh, each wrought with dangers and time-consuming challenges. However, if it matters not to to the lot of you, I would request you travel to the north. You see the. Uh, the tunnel that heads over to the uh, the ruins of Cold Beer have not been excavated in quite some time. I fear a populace of the restless may be building up within the tunnel. While they are not so much a threat on their own, as the population continues to build, it will strain at the gate, and we may risk a small uh, invasion of restless here in the town of Kolkuk. Restless, by the way, um, is the name of the undead that roam across this land. Uh, they, um, they're, they're pretty much mindless zombies uh, from the original populace uh, of Asmodia. 
uh, with the shadow has taken corpses that have fallen around the area. Um, or uh, if the bodies of the original Asmodia populace from over a thousand years ago, uh, they roam the lands as mindless undead. You see, when the, uh, the Astari race broke through the Shadow Veil, creating the breach, uh, they did so with the hopes that there would be uh, plenty of bodies and vessels to occupy. Uh, by doing so, they created the new Devil Race, which was the fallen, uh, the fallen bodies, the fallen people of Asmodia from over a thousand years ago uh, were appropriate vessels for these shadowy formed tortured Astari and with the combination of the two not only did we get to see the Lords of Shadow rays um, but devils were born at this point um, after a lot of study uh, from scholars and doctors engineers all sorts of things this when the breach happened uh, it is theorized that only 20% of the Asmodian populace were transformed into devils. The rest remained dead. And as, as Modi, and as Asmodia sunk into shadow, the dark energies would, would well, transform these fallen corpses into mindless undead. So, uh, he will be asking you if you can clear the tunnels when you wake up, and that'll take you over to the north, over to the Colbert Ruins, and, uh, and yeah. So, uh, Marius would look to the party and sort of gauge the, uh, the thoughts or interests. Gareth will just kind of grunt mm. and go back to like staring at his feet. He's kind of preoccupied. Vizika shrugs and finds another tankard. You just immediately just go over and start. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you go over to one of the kegs, the tankers like open it up and start filling it in your staff. Is that is that fair to say? Oh, the staff is still full. She's she's filling her. Oh yeah, that's uh, her right. That's right. And... Making sure that you have another <laughs> use ready for you. <laughs> Drinking up as well. Yeah. Um. Johan will like look over to Gareth. What's on your mind? It is. It never gets any easier, you know, putting to rest the work of these devils. I'll be fine. I'll be good for the mission. You do understand, Master Gareth, that you'll be putting a lot more to rest before you retire from this, this duty. I understand. It won't be an issue. Then. And I say this. It sounds merciless, but you have to keep that inside you. You need to understand. You can't let this eat at you. This war may not end within our lives, but we have to continue to push forward. We have to make sure the duty is fulfilled. And by choosing this role that you've taken as Shadowhunter, as a member of the Sentinels, you will not be afforded the luxury of grief. I'll do my part, don't worry about me. Very well. See Cheetle before you get your rest. And if I don't see you in the morn, Good hunting, my friends. May Shadow be at your back. Yes, yeah, same to you. We'll be back before you know it. The, uh, his more humanoid hand sort of reaching up and patting, uh, cheats on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that cracked me up. <laughs> uh, as Marius turns and begins, uh, if the party wishes to follow, uh, to Master Cheadle. Mm -hmm. I am following. You hear a pitter patter behind you. <laughs> Cheadle will take that as a "Hey, we're going," and she'll follow. <laughs> <laughs> we're on our way. Yeah, Gareth will follow as well. Huh. You'll return over to the forge, 
uh, Master Cheadle, uh, is the only one that remains. The rest of the engineers, uh, have returned to their slumber. You'll just kind of see, uh, Cheadle is sharpening, uh, a, a, a well-pointed Chris. Something that he's been working on in his time. The door opens. Cheadle turns over to you. And he'll say, the Cheadle! <laughs> She'll kind of come through the door and, like, step to the side and present everyone else through oh, the door. <laughs> oh, good, you're alive. <laughs> she, like, looks through the door when he's like, come on, I'm making a show. She uh, kind of, like, turns back. <laughs> he puts the Chris down over on the anvil and awaits the show. <laughs> Stepping through, it's... <laughs> <laughs> There's a very <laughs> subtle, like, glance downwards at <laughs> Cheats. It's judgment. She can feel it. <laughs> it's Marius. He kind of gives a sarcastic. Thank you, Master Chief. We've procured a shadow orb. Oh, all right, then. And then, uh, hold on. He steps aside to let <clears throat> Cheats introduce the others. <laughs> she does. She does the the the. What are they called? Where they you wiggle your fingers? Jazz hands. Jazz yeah. hands. <laughs> She's like, ah. <laughs> like the, waiting for the next person to come inside. G Gareth will mope past next. <laughs> I will go next and just stare into Cheat's eyes the entire time as I'm walking. <laughs> Happy little pitter-patter follows and, and Vizika grins up at Cheat's as she passes. Cheetah will just kind of look over at everyone and say, All right, then. Uh, Lady Cheats, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, that was a pathetic <laughs> showing. Yeah. I feel worse than you, you when you came. Well, that's pretty rude now, isn't it? Uh, like the local talent's a little off, but you don't gotta be like that. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Have a little pizzazz, and then you'll see that she uh, she will also kind of give you a little jazz hands as well. Hey, you uh, uh, Anyways, off to business then. Uh, and as you'll see, uh, Matt uh, Cheadle will uh, open up uh, a couple of compartments and pulling out uh, an old ancient sort of like rune stone. It kind of is in the shape of like a Ouija board is the best way to describe it, but you actually will see the uh, the engraving, like the, the imprint uh, where an orb can be placed. He'll walk over to the, uh, the head forge, pla placing it down, and then we'll just state, all right then, now where's the apparatus? Uh, approaching that the clawed hand sort of snapping open he oh. holds it out for the uh, for that Ouija board like apparatus and begins expelling the energy oh that's right you got you got a little pizzazz in yourself huh this is where all my showmanship is hmm. still an impressive tool we'll have to exchange notes sometime I would like you'll... that very much You'll see the orb just begins to uh, fill the uh, the area. Uh, you, the runes on the board will also illuminate with a with a deep purple, uh, and then uh, Cheetle will grab both sides of the runes, and you'll see his pure black eyes just as energy surges out of it. He says, "All right," and as he says that, it kind of like this sort of spectral echo will will resonate within the forge as he seems to be linked both to board and to orb. You've seen him do this a few times ago. It's a form of al uh, it's kind of a form of of old age alchemy, uh, the transference and transforming of one object's property into another, uh, with the raw shadow energy that you have uh, acquired from the troll blood. Uh, he is currently seeing what he can transform. So, and this is what I pull out of my notes. Mm. So, as he looks over, he just kind of looks at like, all right. Oh, this is actually potent shadow energy. I believe I can do something with this. 
Uh, give me a moment, I. Um, so there is a couple of, there is a list of items uh, that uh, Cassius, or sorry, that um, Cassius is, 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 is Cassius back. Orb. He's yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's back. He walks in. <laughs> <laughs> he got another cow. <laughs> uh, Cheetle. We're in the line. <laughs> uh, so there is uh, four items uh, that you can tr that you can transform uh, with this orb. You can choose one of them uh, that may suit your needs, and I will link that now. I will also select Cheetle so it makes it sound like he's saying it, or not. That works too. Never mind me. Uh, <laughs> all right. So there is a couple of them, and I will read out loud uh, what you can select. So, uh, you could do a bloody tattoo when your health is below half. Whenever you roll damage, you can choose to maximize the roll. Uh, you can use this feature a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus. You regain any expended uses when you finish a long rest. Uh, this places a shadowy tattoo uh, in the location of your choice. Uh, it will take up the entire... Uh, it will take up the uh, entire body part. So, if you put it place on your back, you'll see a huge... Um, tattoo being printed on your back same with like your your entire arm etc etc um you blah, blah, blah. this also is considered a uh, attuned item so you'll have to attune to it taking up one of your three attunement slots and if you do re uh unattune to the tattoo the ink will vanish from your back and you will not be able to use it again it'll be completely purged and removed from you uh, the cow corpse cludgeon, uh, as he's describing this, it kind of like flinches a little bit, but shrugs, uh, assuming this is something that can be created. Uh, essentially, you get your own corpse of a cow that you can use as a weapon. Uh, as a 2d8 bludgeoning damage, it can be thrown, as a th counts as a thrown weapon of 20 to 60 range. It's considered heavy, which means it has minus one to hit, but plus two to damage, and you'll have to wield this with two hands. Uh, a debris launcher pack is a a uh, nice fit of goblin engineering that could be strapped onto your back with a huge fucking rock on the end of it. Uh, on use, you cast spell Catapult uh, with a DC 13 uh, of D 13 as an action using this feature at different times equal to your proficiency bonus. You regain any expended uses when you finish a long rest. Or a Shadow Idol. A Shadow Idol is simply a, uh, a component of wealth. Uh, you can use this in exchange for uh, credits or materials uh, if you decide to craft on the road later on. And don't worry, crafting will be explained to you at a later date. So, do you want money or do you want one of these three items? You can only choose one. Like do we all get one? Nope. Okay, that's why I, I was like, like, oh God. Yeah. I feel like the bloody tattoo could be excellent for Gareth, maybe cheats. Because they're up close and personal, and look at them at nearly half health now, and they both do pretty fat damage. Um, what do you think, cheats? She kind of like drolls her head around and looks at him. I mean, what do you, do you want one? I'm not very fond of tattoos. Uh, but I suppose if it uh, can really help that much, I can take it, unless you would like it. She, like, looks over his armor and his body. I mean, it's not like anybody's gonna see it, am I right? <laughs> and she, like, looks around to the rest of them. <laughs> I mean, I could put it on your face. Oh, there you go. Would it look better that way? Who says it has to be big, Eve, that you could just get a teardrop, you know? And she kind of like points to her big old eye. <laughs> no. <And it's>, he <laughs> says. <laughs> Is it explained to us that it's, uh, it requires us to be like bloodied to be able to use it? Yeah, everything uh, that I've explained to you, uh, Cheetah would have explained in, uh, in RP speech. I feel like those who are frontliners are perhaps the most capable with a tattoo, but if we are to keep ourselves alive, and that is very much my plan, I, I don't know how lo comfortable I feel with you being that low. Especially you being perhaps the one who got hurt the most, Gareth. I certainly don't like to be hit, but um, <laughs> if there can be a, a plus side to that, make it work in our favor perhaps I don't mind doing that again I, this is if no other 
prospects seem desirable. Well, I do agree with, uh, out of character, I do agree with, uh, Naomi about either Cheats or Gareth getting the, uh, the buff. I feel like, considering that we're about to go clear out a tunnel of Restless, the bloody part is a little inevitable. <laughs> I say, you take it. You'd look great with a little, little tattoo. And I would keep you up, right? Won't be little. Uh, you're feeling great. Okay, big. Well, I mean, you could always, like, tattoo your butt cheeks or something, and then nobody's gonna see it. Uh. You make it look like you're wearing leggings. <laughs> As well, a... As a request to me, I will be the one placing the tattoo upon you. I would prefer it if it was Fish not nuts. on your buttocks. Fishnets. Oh, cheat to live a little. <laughs> I am living a little. All right, all right, all right. He just crumples to himself. I believe out of all of us, Gareth is the one that did earn it. You did spill the most blood. And I Very mean, well. You buried the guy. Yeah. He does he deserve to get his butt cheeks poked. I will take this honor then. All right, so, so the left or the right, he says, like, discouragingly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheats claps. What about something, um, you know, um, symmetrical along both? <laughs> I least want it to look pretty. What, why are you laughing? Cheetle just kind of looks over at you and says, Gareth, oh that was a joke. Serious. I'm... I'm not putting a tattoo on, on your ass, all right? Oh my god, he's serious. Well then. Good right. for you. All right, let's do the left arm then. Uh, very well. <laughs> he just kind of uh, holds your arm out a little bit. And he just kind of looks up at you and he's just, he kind of has this off-putting look and he's just like, if you're just looking for someone to get a drink with, I mean, we could share a mug of mead sometime. And he just starts to begin to like <laughs> put the so, ink over to your arm. I don't, I don't know how um, flexible or like Gareth's armor is. He may have to take his whole top off. Woo! I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, with the crossed arms and the second full. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, so the way that the ink works, um, you will like Scary. place it on Scary. a part of your arm. Um, and then the ink will slowly begin to spread up your arm. So you are not required uh, to take your armor off if You're, you do Or is he? Well, hmm. Describe your body. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Oh, my this old detail. Yeah. Yeah. ASL? <laughs> I suppose there are celebrations in order before you go on your crusade. Yes, we're in the forge. It's hot. I mean, come on. <laughs> It's definitely hot. Wet, it's getting a little sweaty skin. in here. And he just, he just starts taking off his jet. Oh my God. Yeah, Gareth is going to take off his top and then he's going to like find a, a nearby stein and like pour some beer on his arm to like oh help with God. the tattoo. All right then. Uh, and you'll just watch as uh, he kind of releases onto the room and heads over to a, uh, a quill uh, that has been forged out of metal. He'll dip uh, into the orb, as you'll see it uh, transform into the shadowy ink uh, that spreads throughout the quill. He'll turn back over to Gareth and be like, this won't hurt too much, as he then places the quill upon your arm. And with a few brushes, this will take about an hour, by the way, uh, oh, you'll my. begin to watch as the ink will spread uh, across your arm. Uh, now, of course, there are some default styles that the Sentinels like to do if you'd like Cheadle to take the liberation. However, uh, if there is a particular style you would like the tattoo to look, you are free to share that now, and Cheadle will do his best. Uh, I think if Cheadle doesn't specifically ask, then he won't have any input for it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you'll kind of like uh, watch as the ink will sort of illustrate this uh, 
uh, what I can describe only as a dead tree with gnarled sort of branches, and you'll you'll watch um, as the the bark, the texture of the bark, will begin slowly sketched in across your arm, um, as the gnarled branches begins to stretch out, almost like this animated drawing upon your arm. It'll begin to stretch, uh, begin to circle around your arm. You'll watch as this uh, all in black and white monochrome, um, as vines are illustrated all around and after an hour's time you officially have the bloody tattoo which I will now add to your inventory does everybody stay for the entire hour watching that's uh, up to Curious. everyone that's we're a teammates question. I'm not going anywhere brother <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still there but I have fallen asleep heel toe rocking just watching just like <laughs> <laughs> at some point Fez uh, nudges uh, cheats and is like I I can't believe he was actually gonna go for the white cheek tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad he didn't. He'll, uh, Cheetle will look over at everyone who stays behind and just kind of state, like, You have loyal companions. Oh, did you want us to leave you two alone? No, not necessary. <laughs> I'm just Are saying you this sure? is. This is very boring work. Yes, I'm sure, he'll say. Mm hmm. I'll have oh. you know I'm quite easily entertained. <laughs> and, like, she, like, twitches. <laughs> Hello. I appreciate you all being here. It uh, bodes well for the journey ahead. How are you feeling, Gareth? A bit sore, but I suppose it doesn't look so bad. I'm just checking over to see if you're already bloodied. You're not. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> Immediately uh, activates. <laughs> yeah. Just I mean, it, it could. Myself. It absolutely could. Ah! Yeah! War! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, one second. I mean, we, we haven't cleaned up after that fight, so we're all kind of still mm -hmm. sore and nasty. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Bloody tattoo. I'm just gonna copy paste real quick. Just doing the behind the scenes work. Mm. Oh what do you guys think? How does it look? It looks cool. Kind of show everybody. What's it look like, Doctor eh. Master? I mean, it's a um, tree. I, 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 so, uh, just to recap my description. Um, it looks like a, a dead tree uh, that's been placed upon his arm with gnarled branches that kind of like go around it, almost hugging uh, the arm in its entirety. You'll kind of see a little bit of wooden texture uh, around the tree. Hmm. I think it's quite fitting. Well, I hope it'll, uh, it'll, it will help us enough in, in the days to come. I'm sure it will. Thank you, Master Cheeto. You did a excellent work. All right, shop's closed. Everyone, go home. And by home, I mean back to your bunks. You've got a long journey ahead tomorrow. And and hey, look, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna survive this thing, but uh, yeah, just don't go dying out there, okay? I don't not dislike you. I Garrett's, don't not dislike you too. Yeah. Like yeah. points at him. Yeah. Garrett's right. gonna give uh, Cheetle a big hug. Aww. Uh, Cheetle seems taken back a little bit, almost a little bit in shock, and you'll just see a faint smile go on his face, and he'll pat you on the back, and he'll be like, "All right, okay, okay." Drinks on me when I get back, and oh. we all get back. I'm gonna hold Red you to flag. it. <laughs> You're gonna live this, kid. <laughs> are you gonna hold him to it, or are you gonna hold him to you? <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> he just kind of like at that point, just kind of like you know, just releases gears a little bit. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Listen, get some rest, okay? What? We don't all get a hug? That's pretty silly. Oh, you want to give me another tattoo? <laughs> He'll uh, look over at Cheats and he says, How about when you get back, yeah? Uh, 
I suppose. Hmm. I'll just grab Cheat's arm uh. gently and just force her out. Just, you know, we'll walk it out. Okay, okay. a better show exiting than entering. <laughs> Does a cartwheel. That's an impressive <laughs> cartwheel, points over at the cartwheel. Sparkles fly everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Gareth oh, is going to slap, uh, slap Marius on the back and then head for the exit. That was the most impressive cartwheel I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> and you'll uh, <laughs> you watch as uh, Cheadle will resume work on his Chris. <laughs> All right. We walk away as we see Cheadle just trying to do cartwheels from now on. Just practicing. <laughs> I got to see if I can do that. I could probably do that. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no. That no. toxic train? I can do that, he I says. I can do that. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. I can do that. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have the body of a smith, not an acrobat. No, 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 no. <laughs> Will you all be slumbering for the evening? Mm, yes. Yes, I would like to sleep, Dr. Master. All right, then a long rest will be uh, will take place. Uh, I will long rest each and every one of you, and while we're doing that, uh, Vanya, I shall import your spells in at this time. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And... Question, Dungeon Master. Yes. Uh, each table is unique, thus I must ask, um, sleeping in armor, do you do raw or do you have your own rules? Do you do raw? <laughs> raw? Rules as written. <laughs> <laughs> A little personal there. I love that. Jesus Christ. I love this We just so over much. here run. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I have no, uh, if you're saying it like, is uh, 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 it is safe to assume that you will remove your armor um, before that you, you go to bed so I always assume that by default um, you can sleep in your armor um, however prolonged sleep in your armor will will mean uh, risking non restful sleep understood is the way that I typically uh, take care of it uh, it depends also on what kind of armor you're wearing uh, you are currently wearing splint mail which I believe is oh that's heavy uh, yeah so the wearing heavy armor uh, over a period of time when it comes to like days uh, will definitely start to ruin the quality of your sleep if you remain but uh, one day uh, will not cause you any harm and I always assume that you take your, your armor off before you do that unless this you're telling our, me uh... unless you're telling me you don't for the future, while we're out in the field, I will not, uh, unless it gets really dangerous. But this will be the last day here in uh, in your comfort in Colkirk. So the back of once he's alone, the back of his armor fully opens. This sort of like split apart uh, and allows him to fully step out. Will uh, would you like me to uh, do a face reveal for? the audience no oh. okay so this this is in this is in the, the this, this is in the shadows you'll kind of just yes. see oh uh, cheeks is watching one thing to note don't is that power when he don't power <laughs> IP. Uh, when he does fully step out his yes. right arm comes with him that prosthetic is a part of him okay so that's all we see in the in the shadows the dark figure She's seen his face, okay? It's been... <laughs> Look, I'm saying that, but for the for the show, the like session two, I totally understand a no face reveal. We're still in the shadows. People want to know what the fuck he looks like. <laughs> okay, I want to get knocked. I want to get knocked unconscious, and then people can see. I want to get knocked the fuck. <laughs> okay, we can do that. So, um, if that is the case, then let me do. We'll do a little extra thing uh, for you, uh, Marius. Um, so since you're going to be uh, on the road and on the fields, um, what's going to happen is it's not going to be instant. It's not going to be like, oh, you're going to start suffering exhaustion. Um, after, I, especially with the heavy armor, I'm going to say after a couple of days, uh, I will be doing a fate roll. Uh, fate roll, just think of fate rolls as death saving throws. It's either something good happens, something bad happens. Something good happens, that means you get restful sleep. No worries. Good then. If, uh, if I roll bad, that's when you start suffering uh, levels of exhaustion. Now, um, 
I believe Master Cheadle will be giving you some muscle relaxers to allow you to get a good night's <laughs> rest while oh, within God. the armor. Um, so if you do not get, you can decide on when you would like to use it, um, but you would receive three uh, muscle relaxers uh, in the hopes to allow you to sleep if your nights become restless. Does Delightful. That sound, does that sound good with you? That sounds great. Yep. Okay. Right. Amazing. I will add that to your sheet now with a quantity of three. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And, uh, ooh, that looks good. And all you have to do uh, to administer the muscle relaxers, um, I'm assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you probably have some sort of like component or slot on your armor kind of like where you can administer some sort of like drug or things like that without having to take out the armor and then the armor will administer it into your system. So Indeed. That sounds about right. Okay, cool, awesome. Well, that's exactly how that works. You would plug this into one of the components. It would, like a stim pack, uh, it'll shoot through your body um, in multiple spots that your armor's already attached into. And uh, yeah, you'll be good to go at that point. And again, oh, this is more of like, so after the first night um, of sleep out there, just to, to clarify the rules, you'll be fine. You'll still sleep okay. After the second night, uh, because of the heavy armor, that's when I'm gonna start making some rolls. Uh, if you decide to use a muscle relaxer that resets everything again, um, so it'll be like, use the muscle relaxer, like, all right, you'll sleep for this night. Um, the next night, I won't do a check. The night after, I will do a check. Sound good? Sounds perfect. Thank you, Dungeon Master. All right, good, good, good. Okay, everyone is completed and fully rested. Uh, Gareth, you are now successfully attuned uh, over to your uh, bloody, uh, where, the, where the heck? Oh, yeah, let me actually, did I add it? Uh, uh, you did, tw twice. I don't see it now, though. Yeah, that's why I'm like, what the uh, fuck? No, it's okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got it. I think I added it too, so tattoo. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Aha. Uh, aha. I've, I've, I've placed it. Uh, this will be an unkind uh, common item. Uh, attunement required. You are equipped. You are proficient. You are attuned. This will take up one of your three attuned slots. And now we are done. Okay. With that being said, you awaken within the Great Hall in the morning. I put that in air quotes because this place looks ab abysmal and dreadful as fuck all the time. Uh, you will awaken. And uh, after eating your breakfast, you are free to depart. Uh, I must now ask the party, are you ready to begin your adventure? Ready. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Yep. Uh, as stated by Master Johan, uh, he has requested that you'll go through the Tunnel of Kolkirk over to the uh, Colbeer Ruins. Uh, if you look over the map, that's exact. You'll see a tunnel over here and the ruins yeah. over here. The Colbeer Ru Ruins is the ruins of an, of an old city uh, that was around uh, since before uh, the the rise uh, of the, the shadow of, of the devils. Uh, so this is an ancient uh, city itself. So, um, but first you will have to go through the tunnel and you will begin your journey there. Must resist tunnel song. Uh, we're marching there already? Unless there's something you'd like to do before you depart. Cold of cold. course there is, Dungeon Master. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, why would I... Why would I... Why, out of the game. why would I assume? As we're getting into proximity, uh, I'm going to... Once again, I'm going to infuse... Uh... By the way, unless you tell me otherwise, I'm assuming the uh, the infusions that you've done, you will continue to do uh, by oh, default. So Vanya will still has uh, her plus one glaive. Um, that's the only one I actually do remember. I don't remember what your other infusion uh, were. Sadly, I'll be I'll be keeping the infusion uh, for Vanya 
And then I'll be... Uh, oh, that's right. You made your armor a plus one. I remember that. Yes. I will be keeping that plus one for my armor as well. Okay. That's two. Um, and how many fusions? Do you have I can only have two active. Oh, two active. Okay. Those infusions are done. And then, again, much like last time, I'm going to procure a vial that I've made, and I'm going to cast Long Strider on cheats. Okay. So, wait, you're immediately granting Long Strider to cheats? Once we're in, like, once we're getting there. Gotcha. So, like, once you're in the tunnel, Long Strider's there, the hour count begins. Yes. Understood. Thank you very much. Great. Woo! Actually, oh, lay my last on the armor. Whoop. I'm gonna turn to Gareth. Oh, uh, ever so sacrificial because of your assistance in the fight at King Hall. I believe it best that your armor is improved. And he would draw a, uh, a like this sort of, uh, rectangle shape that has uh, six small arms on it uh, and he would apply it to the back of Garrus' armor would latch on and grant him the uh, enhanced defense infusion giving him a plus one armor class all right Gareth, your ac is now uh, a nice 20. well assuming you're wearing the shield um in your oh, default right, yeah. failing small it will be an 18. But once you go into sword and board, uh, it'll go up to 20. Awesome. He's going to just be like trying to look over his shoulder to see how it looks. Because he, <laughs> behind him, he's, oh, th I, I appreciate that. How did, what is he, what did you do? Nice QR code. <laughs> I, like have have an, I have attached yeah. an apparatus to your armor, uh, granting you a temporary benefit. Cheetah looks around the corner. He drew a butt on it. No, I'm kidding. He, that didn't happen. It's not, it's... Pick me sign. <laughs> <laughs> For as long as it stays on your person, your armor will be improved. As long as it stays on your person, people will continuously kick you. <laughs> However, <laughs> you <laughs> see all the enemies target you, by the way. <laughs> I just really want to kick this guy. Uh, okay. All right. Sorry. Anyways. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we have fun here. Uh, all right. So now you will travel over to the tunnel, yes. Also, for those with sensitive bladders, we'll be taking a break in 10 minutes. No worries. Looks at Naomi, points at Naomi. Surprisingly, I don't need to pee, but I do need to feed the crows that are on the roof opposite me that have been looking over at what? me. What? <laughs> second, I huh? feed crows on my balcony. Oh. I hate they're so scary. Amazing. I, I mean dogs. <laughs> How many are there? Um, well, there were two, and then another yeah. two started coming by, and sometimes they have aerial battles, and then I stopped feeding them for a few days because that's what? not cool. Um, and then and then they also had babies. Oh, what? Oh boy. Well, I'll actually tell you are what. Are you serious be right now? Before we get into the the full swing of things, uh, let's uh, let's take our break now, so those little crows can Yay. be fed and everyone can do a little piddle. Uh, so. Uh, we'll be back uh, whenever you everyone comes back. Sounds good. I'm gonna pee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, hey. I'll see you guys. Uh, see you soon, in maybe. A second. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Hello, Ionians. We wouldn't have Niobers without our Patreon, so I wanted to let you know what we have to offer. By joining our Patreon, you're doing more than just supporting the streamed campaigns of IO. You're also supporting a brand new tabletop startup with IO Publishing and getting great value because of it. Joining gives you immediate access to MP3s of previous sessions, premier access to content featured on the IOverse, including tokens for your virtual tabletops, and early access to music created exclusively for the IOverse, but also you get access to professionally made 5e content, custom encounters, mechanics, subclasses, and more available in professionally made digital PDFs for use in your own 5e systems, including the world's greatest role-playing game. Before you decide, why not give it a try? We have free content available, including a map of the Shattered Planet of Io, and immediate access to our custom Rackling Race, along with four Rackling Lineages, all 
with beautifully crafted, professionally made art. What are you waiting for? Sign up today at patreon.com slash world of IO or type exclamation mark Patreon in the chat right now to get a link. Thank you to everyone who has supported the Patreon. We'll be right back.
We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. Hello. 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 So, Howdy. so uh, yes. Uh, to answer your question that we said, I saw Naomi. <laughs> nothing's, yes. Nothing's really progressed, but that's okay because <laughs> time spent having fun is is uh time well spent tell, well, can exactly we, can we extend it, our it, campaign can we put in an earlier request <laughs> <laughs> look look if, i i we, i i, if we I don't I, get to the end can we just keep going listen right. I, I i i i assure you i will not pull <laughs> First of all, I'm very happy because I seem to be having this conversation with multiple groups of campaigns of people who are just like, so we just keep going, right? Like, we just kind of keep going on. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, cause Mar yeah, March and Faye Wonder, the last, uh, campaign I was also doing this. Um, I will not just, uh, I will not put, I will not pull the rug under you and be like, campaign's done. You didn't finish. So, <laughs> bye. Sucks to be you. And sucking <laughs> up. So you're uh, you're good to go. You're good to go. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, if we have to add like five, six more sessions on top of oh, that, we already like, okay, so be, months, you know? the, so be the, it. You know, so be it. Six more months. I mean, right, that right. Yeah, good. that sounds yeah. realistic. <laughs> the campaign will wrap up when the campaign wraps up. That's I, right. I always say if it takes years. So be it. <laughs> you know, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, season multiple seasons happen. You you never know. You never know. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want, again, this is only session two, you know, I could whiff it here in a second, you know, though, I'm like, actually, well, we could wrap it up right now. That's, that's <laughs> we'll spend the other eight pages. Well, yeah. Eight now. guardians right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. We're at the gate. I stabbed the man. He's dead. So the gate explodes. You're all dead. <laughs> the gate, I killed the gatekeeper. You didn't specify what gatekeeper. Come on now. <laughs> it's just a little speed run, little speed run trick over there. And then Johan laughs and goes, I guess I should have specified. And then the credits roll. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Damn, got him. Got him. All right. Uh, so you guys will uh, begin and enter uh, into the tunnel. Uh, the tunnel itself remains well lit until about half, uh, let's see, way through. is a fortified masonry wall, seals, Colker, protecting anyone that would travel through this way. Allow me to show you, well, boom, as you guys kind of like cross through the tunnel. Um, this kind of half before you arrive over the gate is, is mostly uneventful. Um, it's well patrolled, and this gate that's fortified over here uh, keeps the restless and any sort of foul entities uh, away. Uh, there you are greeted by uh, two of Kolkirk's guards. Uh, they are wearing a ton of leather with their face uh, draped and wrapped around in cloth, um, kind of hiding their identity. This isn't meant to make them more mysterious, uh, but because they have to stay in the tunnel for extended periods of time, uh, diseases and, and the like tends to spread a little bit more easier in this closed space. Uh, so hunters will wrap around their face. Uh, uh, passing through, uh, you guys won't be in too much risk of illness, uh, but for those that have to stay here in a consistent pace, uh, have to remain covered so as to ensure their health, um, but also so that there's always at least two guards uh, protecting the gate and observing through there. Uh, you'll kind of watch as uh, one of the guards is looking through an arrow slit uh, and the other will walk over to you. Hail hunters. Now uh, they, the, the, uh, they will state and mention, you're the shadow apprentices that uh, the marshal has requested passage through. Is that correct? Yep. Correct. That's right. Well, it is uh, exactly as Marshal Johan has stated. The uh, the restless seems to be wandering across the other side. And he watches this guard kind of like still peeking through and goes, Oh uh, yeah, the uh, the tunnel indeed seems to be full. We've wa we've watched some patrol around. They wander aimlessly. Currently, it seems to be at an emptier spot if you wish to pass through now, but you will absolutely find restless deeper from within. Nothing too daunting, I assure you. Something that even apprentices can handle. And you'll watch as this one says, when you're ready to go, we'll open the gate. 
the gate will immediately seal behind you. So make sure you have everything in order before you cross through. Gareth is going to unsheathe his big two-handed mace and with the same action, uh, use a false life spell to gain some temporary HPs. Mm, false Indeed. life. Let's go ahead and see that roll, please. Oh, wait. Uh, it says I have no available first level spell slots. So when you select the spell, um, you, you'll see that big red box. It's very scary. Uh, but you will also see cast at level, and don't worry about that, but you'll see a checkbox that says consume spell ah. slot. You will uncheck that and then Ooh. cast the spell. That's cheating, it seems. All right. <laughs> yes, yeah, th it is. <laughs> this, 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 uh, this isn't an MMO, you know. A lot of it is just me operating, so we're 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 uh, we're good. We're we're good to have a little bit of cheat codes there. Uh, you seem to have cast it at the half health. Uh, we will apply eight temporary hit points over to you. This would be when Marius gives the long shot. Yep, another of the another hit of the vial, uh, and then sort of tapping the hand against his armor. Those crystals flare, the hexagon patterns ripple over his abdomen, over his shoulders and helmet, uh, and I'm going to give myself defensive field. Mm, defensive field. As a bonus action, you gain four temporary hit points. Indeed you do! And so you did. And with that, you did do the do. And your defensive field is done. And I am done. And I am also done. All right. With a, you prepared, are you ready to go? As the guards have stated, uh, once you pass through here, uh, there will be no going back, unless you scream really loud at the gate, in which case they'll reopen it, roll their eyes over at you, and be like, all right, come on, hurry on. Just opening <laughs> open this gate's a bitch. Gate. Yeah, opening this gate's a bitch is the, is the main thing they're trying to tell you. Zekul uh, looks up at, at the guards and is like, uh, have you been having trouble lately? Should we go out of our way and uh, try to kill a few more of those things? Well, I mean, if you can clear the tunnel of any restless you find patrolling through, it'd be greatly appreciated. Okay. It's a straight shot through. Uh, fortunately, the tunnel isn't very cavernous. It's almost as if it's, uh, it, it is more of a uh, closed valleyway that'll take you directly into the ruins of Colmere. Mm. Notters. Gareth will step forward and just look back at the rest of the party waiting there's no objection we shall open the gate so you'll kind of just watch um as the guard will begin to pull at this wheel like contraption um the other guard will also help and uh, you could just tell from the, the strength they're using this is a, indeed a heavy wheel because it's being used to open this massive gate that leads uh, deeper into the tunnel. Um, da -da -da -da, putting all their strength into this. The stone gate was meant to remain fortified to not allow threats to penetrate and enter Kulkirk. So it would make sense that there would be uh, a struggle to open. Uh, you'll watch as the gate will open up wide and one of them will scream, quickly! And as they're straining to hold the gate. Will you all rush through? Mm -hmm. Following behind Gareth. Yes. All right. Following behind Gareth. Tip my hat to the hunters and I follow through. Okay. As you go through the gate, the guards will release and the gate closes a lot faster than it did open, allowing the mecha mechanism to seal the gate in a haste. <laughs> As the, uh, you'll just kind of hear that echo off uh, into the cavern. Uh, the tunnel itself is uh, fairly well lit with dim torches, uh, allowing you to see through this. Uh, dark vision will not be necessarily required as you, or at least not yet, uh, as you begin crossing through the tunnel. Uh, as you cross through, you'll watch as the scatterings of restless who have passed on or has been killed from histories on past. You'll uh, just kind of watch as you'll walk through the area, crossing through the dried and decrepit corpses of the tunnel. Uh, it'll take some time to cross through here. Uh, I would say probably about an hour's time. Once you cross through the tunnel, the long strider effect will uh, expire. 
So you're marching, you're marching, you're crossing. And there you see it on the other side of the tunnel. As you look off to the, uh, the north, you will watch as four restless seem to be patrolling on by. As you're crossing through the tunnel, both of you make contact at the same time and engage in combat. So, uh, you'll notice there is a big old box here. This is to allow you uh, to position yourself before we begin combat. Some of you may decide to be more front line. Others may decide to be more in the back line. This allows you to provide your formation. Uh, once you have done so, I will roll initiative for all of you and drop the box. Once the box mm. is dropped, your token will no longer be allowed to move unless in, in, uh, in combat order. But I will allow you some time now to position yourselves. Also, we now have the drag ruler thing. Uh, for, those that, hey, for, for those that would like to know how that works, uh, when you look to move around, you kind of see as everything is going. Uh, when you press spacebar, you'll put an anchor point. This will allow you to continue to move, uh, placing oh, as many anchor points as you want. Red means you're moving beyond your movement speed, All right. which means uh, you're a fucking cheater. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where are you going? I already cheated once. Hey, she's uh, gone. Uh, bloody, she's you gone. are. You are past the uh, the starting line, my friend. Hey, no, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> it's just, right. I was just you know, scoping ahead. Just, uh -huh. just don't worry about it. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. Moves up to the enemies before their animation loads. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this just the keep uh, posing in the distance? Are, are, will, will these be your uh, final spots? See. Yeah. Dude. I will be okay. I see a couple of you are still moving around, so now I'm gonna provide a bit of higher pressure. Uh, I will be dropping the box in five, four, three, two, one. No more movement. Nope. Incorrect. I've already dropped the box. <laughs> Ooh. Uh -huh. You just got DM, son. You got DM, son. <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> hot damn. All right, Jesus. so uh, I will pause the game and I will be rolling your initiatives. Uh, Ayo, you initiative has been rolled, and it looks like all of you are going first before the restless. Isn't that pog? Well, um, it's pretty pog. So as I have expressed to you guys uh, in our group chat. Uh, even though there are four wrestlers here, you will actually notice that uh, each of them have slightly different variations of appearance. Their variations, uh, it does not only stop at appearances, as some will use different tactics and abilities as others. Just because they're all named restless doesn't mean they have the same tactics. Each of them will fight with a different style. Uh, it'll be up to you to determine that. Uh, you uh, can learn a little bit about their style, if you would like, uh, by using uh, an investigation check, um, or for this one, would be a religion check. Uh, by doing so, would be a bonus action or an action, up to you to determine what you'd like to do. Um, and I will let you know uh, what kind of tactic they are. Of course, you can just do it the old-fashioned way and learn as you go on with combat. Um, but those options and tactics are available for you uh, if you would like to learn more about, I guess, more mm, complicated opponents. Uh, if you'd like a little bit of uh, tactics before you go on ahead. Or, as I mentioned before, you charge in and just see what the hell they do. So, uh, yeah, we will begin. Uh, with speedy cheats. Uh, cheats, uh, you are the first on the initiative tracker. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, I hate going first. Why did I play a rogue? Ah! Uh, right. Uh, my features got the thing at the top, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. You're good. What are you trying to figure out? I forgot what haste does. Mm. 
Uh, so, uh, for haste, that would be your whip accelerator, stib accelerator. As a bonus action, you'll gain the haste effect. Uh, haste, uh, buh, 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 I will show you right now what haste does. Uh, if, if you were to gain the haste effect, you would gain the following things. Uh, this would include double speed. Your AC increases by two. You have advantage on dexterity throws. Um, and uh, even though this doesn't specify for whatever reason, uh, you can make an additional uh, attack uh, attack with your melee weapon uh, while you are hasted as your as your hasted action. Um, as attack a three times, Jesus. Um, three times? Question mark. Cunning action. Oh, cutting action doesn't allow you to attack again. Um, all that does is allow you to dash, disengage, or hide. It will not allow you an uh, additional attack for cutting action. I, I thought I could attack twice. Maybe not. You can attack twice if you decide to use your... I think your whip is one-handed, correct? Checking. Checking. Yes, your, your whip is one-handed. So if you had whip in one hand and your dagger in another, you could whoop and then also attack with your dagger, but that's a bonus action uh, to attack uh, again. Yeah, that's with any light weapons, right? Any Correct. light finesse, I think, for Correct. Like... Correct. Right, uh, then, yeah. Uh, she's going to uh, not... Uh, she, it's like she takes a double take, right? She reaches for her belt, but looks back at Marius, and she's like... Mm. And... She... <laughs> Uh, she's gonna, uh, bonus action, I guess, like, dash? Okay. So, that means I get more movement, right? Correct. If you take the, uh, dash action, you can go, you can move again. You can use your movement speed again. So, currently, your movement speed with Long Strider puts you at 50 feet movement. If you are to dash, uh, that will give you a hundred feet of movement to play around with. Beautiful. Jeez. Sweet. Beautiful. You Beautiful. Are, you are indeed a speedster. Then yeah, it's gonna be okay. Math. Right. But now you can do the space thing. You know, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like a a little zippy zip right back. Zip is zip it zippity doo da. Seventy-five. Mm -hmm. No, that's fifty. Well, that's yeah. It'll like it actually tells you. So you're at seventy-five if you do if you end there. All right. Yes. Oh, it is. Just the runs up, right? Uh, your, your whip kinetic energy begins to crackle. And as you move up, that's a total of 80 feet. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she will attack with the whip, wrapping it around the core of this of this creature. And uh, <sighs> it will attack. And then, uh, so I roll. Where is it? If you I mouse have over it. your Where inventory, it uh, it'll be your whip accelerator whip. That's it. 23 hits. Uh, so the following will happen. You'll do nine points of slashing damage and an additional eight points with a kinetic. Yeah, and you go. And then uh, I will roll sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Are you a swashbuckler? Yes, I am. Okie dokie. Uh, and so with the 10 points of damage, the restless still stands. And as a reaction, uh, this one can counterattack. So as you kind of like whip over there, uh, you'll watch as the shambles of the restless turns over and then goes in for the slam, missing you uh, as you dodge easily uh, against the restless slam. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was action, bonus action, and movement. You can move um, another 20 feet if you would like. She will. <laughs> okay. She will move here. With uh, reaction spent, it is unable to do a uh, opportunity attack that will end your round. I also don't provoke opportunity attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Listen, nerd. <laughs> I deal with it every Sunday, brother. It's... <laughs> Actually, I don't provoke. 
<laughs> opportunity attacks. <laughs> Vibrating in my chair, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Vanya, it's your turn. Hello, 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 indeed. hello, hello, indeed. So, um, I, 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 I say, I, I do have dread ambusher. Indeed. So, if I take an attack, which I will, that means mm -hmm. that I get to attack twice, correct? Mm hmm. Okay. Perfect. You attack on that action, you can make one additional weapon attack as part of that action, dealing an extra 1d8 damage of the Does uh, it have to be on the same damage. target? Uh, it's been a while since I've had someone's dread ambush. No, you can make one additional weapon attack as part of that action, uh, dealing an extra one d eight weapons damage. Of course, the rules lawyer will strike me down if I am incorrect. Um, but your damage will transform to one d eight with dread okay. ambush. Okay. Oh, thank God for that ruler. Oh, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> thank mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um. I'll whip out my rifle, mm -hmm. I believe, and uh, take a shot. Who will you be shooting at? I have targeted the poor fella. It's uh, the the zombie that. Oh, uh, you did target. Look at I that. I did. Look, Look at this that. This is a target. I think you're the only one that's done this so far. That's so fucking useful. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that the green dot? That's the green dot. That lets <gasps> me know that uh, green dot has targeted, and I know green dot is bloody faster. Mm-hmm. Yes, By the yes. way, if you wish to target, uh, when you have the person selected, when you normally select your token, you'll actually see uh, a target reticle uh, underneath your underneath that. Um, and then when you select a, uh, a token, that lets me know I'm targeting that. Currently, you're targeting yourself. Now you're not targeting anyone. Now you're targeting yourself, now you're targeting anyone, and then I go into a seizure. You killed me. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Lobo. I win. I win. Ah, DM's dead. Ah. But now you're stuck in the cave forever with zombies, so... Oh, yeah. oh. No, no one wins. Anyways, continue. Yes, so I take the shot. Take the shot. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me take the shot. Take the, take the shot. Take the... Take the shot. Don't shoot me. And you'll just watch a uh, headshot, I'm assuming? Oh yeah. As the steel bolt Please. just just penetrates through the skull of the restless, you'll just watch as it <sighs> splat <sighs> dead. You'll see you'll see Vanya kind of, you know, shudder with, with excitement. <sighs> that felt good. And I'll take another shot. Okay. This time. This uh, poor chap. This one will just deal 1d8 damage. Uh, so yeah. you're, you're able to do your attack as normal since it's 1d8. We just will not add the uh, bonus damage from your modifier and the weapon. Okay, so just normal as I did before? Oh yeah, just do attack. I'll okay. handle all the uh, all the calculations. Handle it! I will handle it. Uh, so you rolled a four, so that will be four points of damage dealt to the restless that you have to target. As you just kind of watch it just strike uh, the side of it. Four points of damage dealt. That is Very your good. action. Dread uh, Ambusher is complete. Uh, you have movement and a bonus action remaining. How much movement again do I have? Uh, so when you open your character sheet, uh, you will see a movement. Oh, box. 30 feet. I'm sorry. Yeah, I see it. No, I no, you're it. good. You're good. I'm the, I okay. wasn't. It wasn't meant to like scold you. It was just more of like I want to teach you how to find it on your own. Right. There I go. And, and I'm done. Marius. Uh, they're pretty far away, Dungeon Master. Uh, so Marius. <laughs> I know that. I put them there. <laughs> <laughs> so marching forward, the hammer on his back, uh, this very sort of uh, sudden burst as he's going to move his uh, full movement forward towards them and then as he gets within range make sure they are uh against the one that uh, vanya just hit you would watch the a segment along the back of his armor split open uh and i'm going to cast a uh, magic missile as three small little uh, darts fire off from his back like little, little pin missiles <laughs> against uh, this gentleman Ooh. <laughs> Roll once uh, with magic missile, and the, that's the same damage that will be dealt with all three missiles. All right, then you chose poorly. Six points of damage is dealt. <laughs> and 
and then I'm going to, uh, with it retracting back into the armor, I'm going to draw my hammer and uh, prepare for them to get within range. That's my turn. Gareth. All right, let's see. Um, all right, I will run up here, and Gareth will pull a small crossbow out from his pack or from his from his side. Oh um, yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, I don't see it in my hot bar. The crossbow itself. Now you will. Oh. I have it equipped. Excellent. Okay, and then to click the target. And how do I move that target? Hmm? Oh, you just, uh, you'll select your token. And, yep, there it is. You did it. What? I did what? I did what? I don't see it. Oh, yeah. So you, you, your token is currently selected. Now it's not selected. So now you can choose the token. It's just if you already targeted your token, you won't be able to target. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, I shoot. You shoot? Pew. Uh, <laughs> and, I said you. And don't worry. I'm keeping track of your ammo. <laughs> don't think I won't forget because I won't fucking forget uh, the uh, bolt will shoot past the uh, the restless missing alright uh, as a bonus action I like to try and study the closest one's tactics okay uh, you can do investigation or religion I leave it up to you I will <clears throat> Ugh. <laughs> let's go religion okay 14 is sufficient as you begin to study. The Restless is charging at you, uh, going in with a body slam, but you actually notice uh, that it has clasped together its two hands. Uh, this suggests that not only will it rush at you with a body slam, uh, but then it will follow up with a successful attack with another attack, uh, which may be strong enough to knock you off your balance, knocking you down prone if it hits. Got it. I'm out of actions. All right. Bezika. Oh, I could reach it. Wow, how nice. Um. So, okay, quick, quick question about key fueled attacks because I've never played a monk before. Absolutely. Um, it's if you've spent key, uh, you can do an unarmed or monk weapon attack. But is so if you've spent key with a bonus action, does that mean that you can't do that because that's also technically a bonus action? Uh, if you have two things that do bonus actions, you have to choose one or the other because it spends okay. not only the key point, but also spends the bonus action. Uh, action right, because it doesn't cost a key to do that. That's just if you have spent key previously in the. What are you? What are, what are you thinking about doing? And I'll let you know if you can do it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm pro probably just gonna. Um, you. Well, I was. I was thinking either action. Uh, to to dash over to him, but then I mm -hmm. I don't really have a bonus action like normal attack. You're thinking flurry of blows. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to take the attack action. No, no, no. I'm no, no, no. I'm not thinking flurry of blows. I was thinking. Oh, bonus attack punch with your offhand. No, I, I was thinking spend one key for step of the wind so I can dash as a bonus mm -hmm. action. But then mm -hmm. key fueled attack is if you've spent key, you can attack. Um, but I can just do a normal attack anyway. One second. One, 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 one moment, please. One moment, please. So you said there's you have a key-fueled attack uh, Yeah, ability? yeah. So so Monk has a thing um, that's just... Hang on, let me really quickly... Yeah, it's all oh, good. I'm, I'm, I'm also looking because you said <laughs> key-fueled attack, and I was like, ha, ha what now? Ha, ha what now? Um, so with Step of the Wind, um, that allows you to, as a bonus action, dash, which would spend your bonus action. Yeah. Uh, and then you would be able to attack with your normal uh, attack action. Uh, okay, which so, is what so you'll be able to do. Yeah. So this is what the what the uh, key field attack is optional. Uh, at third level, if you spend one key point or more as part of your action on your turn, you can make one attack with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon as a bonus uh, action before the end using, of the turn. You're using an optional feature. Let me let me uh, let me uh, give me give me one moment, and I will give you the ruling on that. I see I see I see what's happening here now. <laughs> Uh, key fuel attack, that's an optional class feature. Uh, if you spend one, blah, 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 dedicated but, I, but I'm assuming that would be like if I used, say, key quicken, quickened healing, because that's key mm -hmm. on an action rather than a bonus action, because otherwise there's just two bonus actions, which doesn't work. So, that is an 
optional class feature, which means okay. it would have to be approved by me, which I have not okay. approved. Let's let's go over those uh, another time then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because typically, what happens with the the optional stuff, uh, we would replace something so that allows you to do another thing. Um, but right. cur currently, uh, I haven't approved any of the optional class features, but it cool. is definitely something we can look into at the future. Sure. But as of right now, you are unable to do yes. that. Okay, well, either way, I don't need to do that because I'm dumb and just realized everything that You're I got dumb. wrong in my brain. Stop, um, stop, stop saying shit about my friend. You stop Ooh, that. No self-deprecating in 2022. Right. I'm going to spend <laughs> the key. You agree. Not allowed. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a key to uh, step of the wind. Mm -hmm. Bonus action to let you, let you dash. Actually, hang on. It's gonna be to to here. Okay. Yeah. Wee! 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a big whack at him. Let's see what you got. Uh, that will hit, dealing six points of damage. Yay! That is your action and your bonus action and your movement. So I believe yeah. you are done. That's it. And now the zombies eat the rackling. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no. uh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> this one's gonna go for the slam uh, 13, which will not this break your armor class. However, Brett bust out the flanking rolls. However, yeah, now this is where I suddenly <laughs> decide that it's allowed. Uh, however, you will notice something fill within the mouth of the restless. Uh, as it opens and expels a vomitous spew upon you. Oh, God. Give me a mm. constitution saving throw. Yeah. With your token, Most. so with your token selected, yeah. uh, you can uh, press the save DC 12 constitution in the chat box and it will make the constitution oh. saving throw. Well, and you course. did it, you did it. <laughs> You just made it, which means you will not suffer the po uh, the poison effect or take the poison damage. Did I did I dodge or does it just not do anything to me? It does it does nothing to you. You just it just spews <laughs> over you um, and you don't take the negative effect. But you are indeed covered uh, in puke. However, uh, if you would like to cosmetically not be covered in puke, I will allow a dexterity saving throw so to keep your fur nice and pristine clean. <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> can, I, can I reaction to deflect missiles and vomit back on him? <laughs> I will allow it. You spend your reaction. You, you're just going to spend your reaction. You're okay with that? Yeah. You start to frantically spin your, your staff around as the vomit <laughs> propels out towards you and the puke just starts just splitting all over the place. It doesn't, uh, as it bounces back, the restless now covered in its own vomit uh, is not affected uh, by it, but you are <laughs> remained cleaned and the restless is not. Wonderful. That's how a chain reaction starts. <laughs> the, the restless beside her. Oh, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> dude, I didn't do anything to you. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna watch as this one sort of shambles over here. Um, and as it does, it kind of like looks around nervously uh, and takes the dodge action. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they're what's smart. The dog, what's the dodge action? I, I thought you know. said dog action. I was gonna laugh my ass off. The dodge action uh, means any attacks made against it will be made at disadvantage. More importantly, uh, the creature will also gain an advantage on dexterity saving throws until the beginning of, it, of its next round. So if you attack it, uh, you will be attacking at disadvantage. Remove. And then this one, my uh, sweet baby boy, uh, is going to slam down upon the Zika. That hits. Seven points of damage. Uh, your hit point bar now visible because you've taken some damage. But more dreadfully, since the slam hits you, this Restless has a special ability with two-handed slam, allowing it to attack again 
Uh, your AC is 16, so this one will miss. If it did hit you, it would have knocked you prone, and you would have taken <laughs> more damage. Not this time. Cheats, it is your turn. Now, from behind the rock, that she is out of eyeline necessarily of Marius, her twitching hand will grip <laughs> at the vial on her hip, and she will pull it upward and push it into the open port on her mask, and she will stem accelerant. Let's fucking go. You become hasted. Uh, and uh, I shall apply the stim accelerant. You take one point of radiation damage as the drug courses through your veins. There's just a like a, a, a gasping mechanical sound from behind the rock as she just shakes out all of her limbs. And uh, she starts hopping from one mechanical foot to the other. <laughs> Okay. I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. No, <laughs> uh, power RP, you can't do that, Crown. Come on. <laughs> You're right. He's actually really concerned about uh, the Rackling getting bodied right now. Yeah, the one surrounded by the dead. <laughs> All right. So the following will happen. Your speed, your movement speed has, has increased from 50 to 100. If you dash, this becomes 200 feet. <laughs> yes. If you dash, you break the speed of sound, so. Yes. As her, her eyes seconds. begin to glow <laughs> with this radiation, uh, how does the extra action go again? Uh, so you can attack again with your weapon. Okay, cool, 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 nice, wonderful. Uh... Beautiful. <laughs> she is going to uh, run 60 feet here. And she's going to attack. Let's see it. As it spins around the nine, torso. Nine points of damage, an additional six points. With, with she will sneak attack. Uh, as you will watch the restless dispatch <laughs> falling down lifeless. Then, <laughs> let's see, uh, she will run. Okay, so that would be, that would be, uh, 20 here, and she will as you cross through the threatened space, the restless will attack you. No, it won't. And you dodge How out of the way. Attack me? Oh, that's right. You can move through. Anyways, continue. <laughs> you have to understand. You have to understand. I, by default, am always waiting and assuming about the, uh, the that it will take a minute for me. So apologies. Okay. I've never yeah. played a rogue, so I'm no, always it's fine. Like, it's fine. No, so no. so if you have to tell me, if you have to remind me, just remind me, and I I will be like, you're right, and then we'll move on from that. And then accelerate a whip. Okay. With who are you? Oh, with the ten feet rage. Oh, you're attacking this one. Very. Cool. Yes. Uh, so with the kinetic energy, with the twenty five feet, you'll do additional two points of damage. Fourteen points of damage dealt. And yeah. then that will be it for you, unless you'd like to continue moving. I will. <laughs> okay. You moved 85 feet. You have a hundred. You have 115 feet remaining. I do. Mm -hmm. well, I thought I only <laughs> and, had 15 oh, feet oh, remaining. I, I, that's assuming you were dashing. Uh, no, I took my second action to attack again, so I only have 15 feet remaining. But you still have a bonus action remaining. I do. Mm hmm No. Mm hmm Your action to attack. My stim accelerant is a bonus action. Oh, bonus action. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. You are correct. You are absolutely correct. And she will end up here, uh, skidding to a stop next to uh, her <laughs> comrade with a bracing, <laughs> like, with just this, like, wide-eyed, gigantic pupil just... <sighs> Don't worry, I got you. Oh, hey, thanks. All right. Does that end your round? Yes. Vanya. Well, hello again. Hello. 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 Let's see now. So, 
I am moving behind this rock. Okay. And I will, again, take my two shots. So... Let's target this fellow right here. Mm-hmm. And let's hit him with something. That will hit, dealing six points of damage. Mm-hmm. Chunks of flesh will scatter. Reload? If I Do I need to reload, by the nope. way? Okay. All right. And again, another one. And another one. Another one? Another attack. Dread Ambusher I can use every time, right? Every turn? Uh, only on your first round. Ooh, okay, then not another one. <laughs> then <laughs> well, you're not like, another one. one. Then I, was I don't. Like, I, was I like, don't I'm, do that then. Uh, uh, that would be too OP. <clears throat> uh, huh. Okay. Oh, sorry. Well then. Is well, that a Jerome? Um, you have a bonus action um, and I maybe some movement remaining? I don't think I have movement remaining because I used all of it, I think. Or like five feet, right. No, I moved. I was, yeah, gotcha. I, I was moved 30 feet. I was just checking. Yeah. No, okay. End my turn. There he is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, still really far away. <laughs> um, hmm. Just, uh, just to ensure that I can get up and uh, and help out. I'm gonna use my action to dash to get up okay. alongside, uh, and that's my turn. Okay, Gareth. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, so, what's the dash dash action exactly? Uh, the dash action uh, allows you to move up to your movement speed again. Okay. Yeah. Then I will do the same, and I'm gonna run up to this dude. And then I'll use bonus action to uh, scan for tactics. On this one? All right. Yes, please. Investigation or religion? Let's go investigation this time. Ooh. Oh. You'll watch as shadowy energies are channeling uh, within the restless hands. Uh, this one does not seem to be uh, offensive in nature um, as the various nicks and cuts and bruises apparently appear to be well-maintained within the hands of this creature. You're facing against a healer. Good. That's my turn. Vizika. Okay. Get a raccoon roll the fuck out of here. <laughs> and, uh, and that was your do bonus a action. nice big smackety smack at this boy because mm. they've got the other one covered. This will be at disadvantage. <clears throat> the 17 will still hit for seven points of damage. Bonk. Big old and, bonk. Uh, that's my turn. Okie dokie. Oh boy, this is where it gets fun. Um, hmm. We're gonna go ahead and slam against Marius. Or... Uh, which I don't believe will hit. Uh, 16, your AC is 17. And then another spew uh, will be right on you. Please make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, who would you like to inspire with that stellar saving throw? Uh, Despite my disapproving nature, I'm going to inspire cheats. Okay. Uh, And the way way that it (laughs) happens is when that it like sort of sprays and is deflected by the uh, defensive barrier mm-hmm. uh, on her armor that has on like on her leg that has that diamond like heraldry, the mark of his uh, of his engineering. Uh, a small beacon would be lit and begin to pulsate. Mm-hmm. That's and, a uh, that's my inspiration. Oh my god. Oops. The defensive field will also keep the bomb off of you. Okay. Uh, and then this one will begin to shamble, leaving the threatening space of both the Vizika and Gareth. Do I? Can I? Can I, can I opportunity attack? Yes, you can. Yes. Oh Go get back there. Get back there. Get back. Urgh, that's that's where the attack happens. A miss. 
The, yeah. And up, oh, actually, you will be attacking with your maul because you're in maul mode. Oh, I clicked the wrong shoot poop. Wait, where is it? There. Oh. That, oh, yeah. Oh, it's gosh. not in the hot bar. Oh, you know why? It's because I don't have it equipped. There you go. Ah. That will hit 11 points of damage. Let's go! Beautiful. That was quick! As it will heal this one for 10 health. Continuing its shamble. It will slam against Marius, missing. All right, top of the round, cheats. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> oh, we're currently at a hundred movement, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I get bonus action dash. That makes it two hundred, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna bonus action dash. <laughs> okay. Cool. Good oh, oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Um. Ten. Twenty. Uh. Right. Math is already calculated. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's all. Yeah, it's all. It's all Don't calculated. Don't point me. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> That'll be uh, <laughs> 50, I guess. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I could have moved 100. God, I'm so dumb. You could have moved 200. You won a section dashed, right? I know, but I was going to use 100 on this one and 100 on that one, but I'm dumb. <laughs> Just Tim Allen grunt. around him. <laughs> Just zigzag back and forth to confuse him. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna tag. <laughs> Fifteen total points of damage as the kinetic energy leaves your whip. Three points of damage. God, this is so... I'm, I'm twitchy. I'm twitchy! <laughs> you have a hundred... Uh, you have your bonus action, or your bonus attack, and about 150 feet of movement left if you are dashing. Yep, we're gonna do that. <laughs> She'll come in with the... The whip will wrap around it and then pull away, and she's gonna... She's gonna do it again. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, space bar, if you'd like to make an anchor point. 20. Oh god, this is, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, <laughs> Watch as she starts moving around in a, in a spiraling <laughs> circle. A rift opens up. <laughs> Aid. We're all sucked in. <laughs> 90. 100. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't, I didn't realize how silly this was going to be. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> Well, someone's gonna throw up again. I can, I can tell. <laughs> That's probably gonna be me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm tired. <laughs> That's it. Momo takes a nap. Right there. 40. <laughs> Are you doing all of that to move back to the same spot? Please say yes. Please say yes. Do it. Do it. Let it go. Release it. Do it, you coward. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. 
now <laughs> miss. Like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> now critically miss. <laughs> <laughs> Near images. <laughs> now critically miss. Roll a one. <laughs> oh shit! I don't want to talk about it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Fucking. I want to play a character that goes really fast. Okay, we can do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will need Scream the attack. Anytime she has to move. I will need the attack. Bobo. That's fine. That, <laughs> as you stab with the dagger? <laughs> yes. That will be. I do will be. And then with you? my. Because I, with my extra action, I'm going to attack this one with my wit. Okay. Why did you attack with the dagger? Because I had it's a one-handed weapon! Yes! And I have a bonus action! But you spent your bonus action I to did. dash, Momo! <laughs> yes, no. you did! Uh-huh. Yes, you did. That's how you were moving 200 feet. No! Momo. Brett, Brett, you glasses. I, you have already spent your bonus action, so the dagger doesn't work anyways. However... I got dizzy. You did get dizzy. It's okay. A 13. God, how I I would love to say that's insufficient and and laugh to the bank. However, uh, your whip will and just splinter this thing in half. God. By the way, Momo, I will be uh, making some adjustments to your uh, character just so you're. Uh, because <laughs> you're doing 20 extra damage a turn, Momo. I fucked up. I, as a DM, am proud to admit I fucked up. I, I will be capping the damage of your kinetic thing and your haste will slightly change as well. Don't worry, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah, I know, I know. You I will played be your high end too early, Momo. Yeah, yeah. You should have <laughs> waited. You should have waited. You should have. You should have underscored it. Yeah, but don't worry. We'll still make it work. We'll still make it work. Your 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 damage will still be amazing as you dispatch of that. Uh, your haste uh, at the end of your round and Isn't another minute. Did you say another minute? Did you say? Oh, it? I said, doesn't it last a minute? The haste? No, this is the haste effect of your stim. This is a different it's haste effect. Different. That's what haste, haste spell. Haste spell, yes. But I also specify that the effects end at the end of your next round. Oh, see. And thus. Uh, that would be great if that was written there. Hold on, let me copy and paste it. Lith, you have now lethargic. Don't worry, I can take drugs again while I'm lethargic. Don't worry, guys. That's right. That's absolutely correct. You can take drugs again while you're lethargic. Uh, Don't worry, guys. Uh, I can take more drugs. Lethargy? <laughs> Don't worry. Lethargy? What was that? What? <laughs> I've seen Skyrim speedrun. <clears throat> okay. Don't oh. worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> don't, wor don't worry about it. Vanya. Well, hello. Hello. Well, hello. Hello. You clean the vomit off your face as you watch as <laughs> runs around <clears throat> circles of, from a zombie. You seem to kind There's of gag a little bit. Still. <laughs> <sighs> Question. Yes. My, my little spell called Zephyr Strike. <laughs> um... <laughs> Does it, does it add to my movement? Um, like, right? So like as a bonus action, yeah, so you cast a bonus action, and yes, until your the spell ends, your movement does not provoke opportunity of attacks. Uh, once before the spell ends, you can give yourself advantage on one weapon attack roll on your turn. That attack deals an additional 1d8 force damage on hit. Whether you hit or miss, your walking speed increases by 30 feet until the end of that round. So you have to Zephyr Strike, you have to cast first, you then have to attack, uh, and then you, if you, whether you hit or miss, um, mm. well, okay. you, oh, well, so, okay. So the way it works, it's, it's a little, it's a little confused. Let me, let me try and re refresh please, it. Please, please. Bonus action cast. So now you have this, like, you have this gift that you can choose to spend 
within the minute. Um, you go, okay, I'm going to, now that I've cast it, I'm going to use the Zephyr Strike, granting you advantage on that attack. Whether that attack hits or miss, until the end of your round, you get an additional 30 feet of uh, movement speed. Okay, but so, also the attack deals more damage. Correct. It deals an additional extra 1d8 damage if you cool. decide to make it an advantage attack. Right. So that's what I would like to do, actually. I would like to cast Zephyr Strike and then just take my attack with the rifle. Okay. Uh, you Zephyr Strike yourself. Uh, will mm. you be using the effects of Zephyr Strike immediately? Yes. Okay. Then you will attack at, uh, you will be attacking at advantage. Okay. Is it something different or do you do that for me? Uh, I, I, I can, so when you shift click uh, your weapon, uh, it will roll at advantage. If you miss, uh, miss click and don't roll at advantage, I will roll it for you. Oh, so I was trying to do it from Foundry. So, yeah. Okay, let me go. You, would, you just shift click the, uh, the button that attacks. Did I do it? You did do it. Uh, nice. You rolled a 24, which will hit, dealing seven points of damage. You can slash roll uh, space 1d8 for the additional damage from Zephyr Strike. Oh, actually, you know what? You didn't cast a spell, so I will do it for you. What bam? Hey, there it is. I don't know why it attacks you, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, 1d8, that'll be that. Well, yeah, so that'll be additional six points of damage as this thing will fall. Cheats also falls backward. <laughs> and with that, the encounter ends. Zika's gonna run over and give a head pat to Cheats. With a little paw. Plop, plop. All right. Well, that was quick. Barely got to do anything. But I hope we're all uh, in good shape. It appears so, yes. Yeah, apart from some emotion sickness. That was awesome. How in the world did you do that? Are you going to be okay? She'll be you see fine. this like faint glow in her eyes as there's like the uh, ports on her mask have completely closed and <laughs> there's no entry point. You just hear from behind the mask. <laughs> There's oh, this that is yes. slow motion of Marius crossing his arms over his chest. <laughs> if he, she could whistle, she would turn her head away to look at. He doesn't even look at her. He looks at. Uh, he looks at the rackling. She's. I saw that you were taking some damage. Stuff. Yeah, just a little bit, you know, and it got me. Are you all right? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, looks at a little bloody spot on the fur. I mean, you know, he, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> he produces that hypodermic needle again and sort of gestures as if asking if it's <laughs> necessary for a heal or not. God, like, how, how big is this needle compared to this tiny rackling? <laughs> it's <laughs> massive compared to oh you. <laughs> she, she looks up at it like, um... Have you ever seen a needle that's necessary for a spinal tap? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to Google this really quickly. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's like... Big. It's, it's large. Big. She's very small. Um, she looks up and is like, "Um, oh, maybe next time." No, I, I'm perfectly fine. I was just kidding. I'm not hurt at all. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe I can handle this one. Um, <laughs> so uh, I am going to go, you know, next to Vizika and uh, <clears throat> um, so. I have a, well, <clears throat> gentler way, you could say, of maybe healing you. If, I mean, you would be half for it. <laughs> <laughs> say the line, bloody. <laughs> Spit on your chin. 
um, it would require, uh, for me to, <sighs> well, uh, spit in your mouth. <laughs> there it is. You wanna, you wanna zoom in on her portrait? <laughs> I'm as zoomed in as I can get. <laughs> Whoa, that's, uh, whoa, I've never seen anyone that eager before. Mm. Ah. <laughs> she will lift her head. I thought it was too personal. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little raccoon smack. <laughs> kind of tangy. You should, um, see a North Dauntist or something. I might um, have to eat some more pineapple or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is curse. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, I, I will I will walk away. <laughs> And then all There's the a... zombies come back to life and kill oh Bloody my Oh no! <laughs> There's a, a part of me as the player where it's like, maybe I should make like a, there's that breath mist type deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget what it's called. It's like a Listerine type deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to make one of those as the next healing apparatus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Indeed. <laughs> well, I yeah, had something to say about my spit. Is that? Uh, yeah. For the record, Mario says nothing. <laughs> For the record, I would prefer your needle to to whatever that was. In the future. Don't knock it till you try it. She sells from the ground. <laughs> well, I mean, I could spit in the needle if that's what you're liking. I, the entire point is to avoid the spitting. Anyways, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You guys will continue your cross through the tunnel, but your adventure has just begun. And that will wrap up today's session uh, into the Shadow's Breach. I was going to make a joke and be like, all right, I'm done. Like after the spit, and just be like, session's <laughs> over. I'm done. But I didn't I want. I didn't want. I didn't want. I didn't want. I didn't bloody to think I was. <laughs> was yeah, right. Of her. <laughs> what? But you said. But you said. <laughs> you said I could. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good session, everyone. Good session. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, great session. Great stuff. <laughs> okay. I can't. I can't Ooh. wait to uh, adjust. Uh, Momo's oh, abilities on, <laughs> and, have, oh, and, have, and have Momo yell at me all Oh man, let's talk about it at least. Come we, on. Can, we, will, we will I will ensure that you are still having fun I promise you but 20 oh. points of extra damage might be a little much right now at level 4 <laughs> You're still gonna be able to do the. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this, do this right now. What level? Well, come on. Are you kidding me? Come on. Summer book out. Fucking nasty damage. Ridiculous damage. Come that was, on. That was phase two. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We will. We're having a meeting. We're having a meeting. <laughs> An intervention. See, this is what We're happens. Having a meeting. I'm not. You're not having a meeting with me. I'm having a meeting with you. Oh my what? god! Slams the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, yep. That's it. That's it. I promise you. I know you don't like. I know people don't like when shit gets taken away. But I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a little adjustment. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Please say yes. Please say it's okay. Please say it's okay, <laughs> Momo, please. This is, this is what Momo does. This is like, I, okay, fine. 20 points bonus damage. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what if 
Okay. Well, just give everyone 20 bonus damage. Yeah, I'll, I'll just give everyone 20 damage. Talk. And then that means all the enemies will increase, mm -hmm. we'll have to increase all the enemies health by 100, and then oh, no wait, one's having wait. fun. You know yeah. what, Brett? Let's yeah. just do Gestalt leveling too. Let's yeah, go ahead. Let's, just let's throw all, that Does anyone in there. want a bonus class? Does anyone want a bonus class? I'm going to take four levels and fighter. It's going to be dope. Okay. I'll, I'll take I'll, whatever Momo is. Here, here, here is, here's an idea is uh, the movement speed gives you different dice tiers, which means you can still, you have the potential to deal 20 extra points of damage. Eh? Eh? Oh, that's a good one. I think we'll that would be a good one. We'll talk about it. Okay, first of all, Momo, the, your <laughs> will talk about is going to be, hey, can you not do anything to my character? That's, that's what you're no, talking about. I will say that. <laughs> that's, oh, that's what you're talking about. Why have I ever in your best game ever done that? You've never done that. I took the book when I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing with the uh, you, book. Yep, yep, yep. You never. You do. You're right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> this is the, the talk about. It's gonna be. All right. I'm gonna be defamed. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. You did. You, you gave did. me this power. I did. I did. I fucked up. <laughs> Relish in it. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys want to do some uh, some bingo, some bingo bongo? Yes. Yeah. I bingo. Not hit bingo. Yes, please. All right, let's. Uh... Wait, we can also play bingo. Of course. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Bingo yeah. link. We yeah, didn't know this. Yeah, you guys can go to uh, over to our bingo channel. Uh, click the link uh, that HB posts, and you too can get your own bingo bongo sheet and play some bingo. Wow. Bug. So let's go, ahead, let's, go ahead and, let's go and see how we're doing. Uh, someone becomes the team mom, dad. I I don't think we, no. Not yet. Not mm. yet. Not Marius one, is getting, getting, there. There. Yeah. getting there. Getting there, getting there, but not has become. Uh, nat that one. Mm. Uh, there was a nat one. Which one was the was nat there? one? I don't remember. Without damage. Mm. Oh, that is a count. That is <laughs> the a count. Count. Uh, count. You don't count it for advantage, right? Uh, it has to be no, like a raw nat one. It has to be a raw nat one. Then not a single one, Dungeon Master. Yeah. Group finds a way to derail the plot. No, not yet. Uh, Brett takes emotional damage. I was so close not, but we were... <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to be strong. I'm sorry. Uh, Marius is Cheat's new drug dealer. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, He's taking the stuff that's literally killing her. Yeah, Shadow Lord serving <laughs> appearance. Huh? What? 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 Uh, Shadow Lord servant appearance? No. Uh, party gets lost? No. Maneuver arms are used? Chat, this is a free space. This is their main weapon. <laughs> this is like saying they moved a speed. <laughs> Cursed RP? Uh, yeah, yeah. Marius over prepares. Okay, well, I'll leave this up to you guys. Do you as a yeah. party... I don't think he was over-prepared. Do, <laughs> do, yes, do you believe that Marius was over-prepared? When I so. do the whole, like, I you get an great. infusion, you get an infusion, bonus action, uh, armor yeah, enhancement, you get a I, spell. I feel like that's just you doing your class. Exactly. Oh, then dope. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, Brett scream. Mm -hmm. Drugs use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy hunting. Free space. Mm -hmm. Cursed intro talk. Not this time. Not this time. Uh, death saving throws, nope. Camp RP, nope. Uh, Someone regrets <laughs> taking the riskier route, no. Uh, Vizika alcohol hoarding RP, yep. And you immediately went for that. <laughs> the party tries to seduce an NPC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Master yeah. Cheetle. Ask Tad. Yeah. Master Cheetle. Master yeah. Cheetle. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Almost. So close. Almost. Drunk Vizika RP. I don't think Vizika's ever drunk. So I think feel like Vizika just enjoys drinking, but is not never like. <laughs> I love you guys. I don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Look, she's a she's a practiced alcoholic. Uh, true. It's gonna take quite a bit to get her drunk. Intoxicated. Does that mean she's always drunk? Um, I, I wouldn't say so. That's for you to find out. <laughs> oh my! Ooh. Oh, <laughs> sessions already. Challenge. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, not 20, there was one. Encounter rolls in the world map. No rolls were made. Uh, the party reaches. The Glom Wield fades? You guys looking at this map? Okay, where's Glom Wield fades? <laughs> that is northwest right of us. Right over there. Look at that. Uh, no, in fact, uh, unless 
you guys decide to go in the opposite direction, you will not be arriving at the glom wheel phase. I will point out, though, some interesting locations after you guys clear the cold beer ruins. Which, by the way, that does also mean, like, you can investigate it or you can You're almost on. done the bingo. Finish the bingo first. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was showing you the thing. Are you fucking... <laughs> Do you not like? Yeah. Do you not like leaving things unfinished, Naomi? No. Is this what you're telling me? All right, I'll finish. Because I need to know if I win. Okay, 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 okay. New travel mechanic. Uh, nope. Uh, I mean, we went through a tunnel. We haven't gone through a tunnel yet. That is, that is such a stretch. <laughs> Reference to other phase three what? campaigns. <laughs> I'm ready to die on this hill. Now? Oh my god, uh, there has been no other reference to another phase three campaign. Okay, <laughs> Naomi, are you good? Can I go back to the map? I just want to yeah, make sure you're good. I got it. I got you feel it. good? Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it. Yeah, no, yeah. I, get it. I, I, I get it. It's like one yeah. puzzle piece not put in, and then you walk over the table and you're like, finish the puzzle! Finish the puzzle! What the fuck are you doing? All right, all right, all right, all right. So what I was saying... Now that everyone's perfectly fine and calm, uh, uh, if you guys decide to investigate the coal beer ruins uh, and clear through, uh, you can continue to progress on. But there's a couple of locations you can explore as well in case you want to, you know, keep keep this going a little while longer. For example, we have some ancient prisons over here that you'll be able to explore, Ooh, or you can yes. head straight over to Terran K, which is another tiny little village that is closer to the breach um so i heard yes so that means uh hey you guys already have an extra session <laughs> attached on uh, i would like to go find we mikhail out here somewhere i know he's out here <laughs> his body <laughs> is <laughs> i heard i would like to find the kale me so too like, okay, kale? Really? Uh, yes. <laughs> really all right um imagine marius just eating his kale salad all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do a uh i'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna do a fate roll, okay? I'm gonna do a fate oh. roll for, for oh. the, the glom wield fades. I'm assuming you guys would like oh. something in glom wield. So here's what we're gonna do. The glom wield fades is pretty much a, an empty, huge field of nothing. You, know, you can find miscellaneous restless here and there, maybe a, a casual troll blood. But is there something more legendary out there? We shall let fate decide. If I roll uh, below a 10, the fields, them, the fades themselves are just that. Empty fields with a couple of uh, sepultures, which I don't know how to say that word. Um, but Sepulcher? I think it's you. a K sepulcher. sound. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> oh, sepulcher, uh, I was wrong too. Sepulcher, sepulcher. yeah. Sepulcher. Uh, you guys are so smart. If I roll 10 or higher, however, uh, there may be something nefarious roaming the fades. Good. I'm afraid the fades are completely empty. You are free to go there and look for materials if you like, but there is nothing impressive in the fades. Fate has decided. Damn it. <laughs> the rest of us have pockets. What we about run like them. If, we, if we dig down below the face? <laughs> you will have a giant hole that you can play in. A giant a hole. Lady hole. Giant dig a diggy hole. hole. If you dig a hole, you'll actually see all the mechanics that I take away from Momo and <gasps> bury. <in> the <laughs> 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 it's right over there. Momo's oh fun God. is underneath the glom wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, Wait, if we I'm go there, kidding. can we recover it? Can we? Uh, absolutely. If we get. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, 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 I'm, I'm get off time. I will, I will, I will say, I will say that uh, anything that I adjust uh, is to ensure the balance of the party so that everyone is having fun. However, what I take, what I do decide to take away, I will let you know, is not gone forever, which means you can potentially get it, get what I take away back. So you might, you might still, you might, you'll be good, you'll be good. You might, you oh might. Oh my god. Yes, this is exactly. like those video games where they first give you a level, like max level character, and, <laughs> like, you it, and you're like, whoa, yep. this is so cool. And yep. then they give you level one, and you're like, what the fuck? So that's, that's the, what you that's, got, that, Momo. That's, that's what I'm, I'm probably going to do. Up. To, uh, that's what I'm probably going to do to Momo. It's probably going to do to Momo. Momo, I'm taking the blanket away just so you can get a better blanket later on, okay? Okay, Momo. But I have a better blanket now. No, no, <laughs> no, no. As I pull the blanket away. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, you guys want to do some fan art? Do a little fan art. Yeah. Let's get, we can. We yes. can 
We can skip this week. That's fine. We don't have to do fan. What? Right no! What? You want to die? Ask I demand. Tattoo. Ask tattoo. Oh, uh, if, if I see, if, listen, listen, if I see an ass in fan art, I'm not posting it. <laughs> What's you wrong with you? You know it's going to be an ass. There better be an ass. Hey! Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the babe. Oh my goodness. This is like adorable, but also kind of terrifying. I love this. I would hang oh, this in my home. All right. Like on a wall. I love it. I would. By the way, I I know you guys are excited about the fan art. Um, something I always warn my players: uh, don't look at the fan art channel until we see it together, unless yes. you would like to have your uh, experience spoiled for you. And I did spo do a little spoilies because I did show you guys this. <laughs> oh, oh my! Oh, no. oh. But what? But what? But what actually happened? What actually happened? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They're, they're so much animated. Oh my! There's so much. That's a lot of spit. <laughs> That's a lot of spit. <laughs> 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 the Shadow Hunters number one. Man, no one wants to share with me. Hmm? I'll oh. share. Aww. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love it. Oh okay, God. the thief is getting away and you're out of movement. What will you do? I'm going to eat my arm. Wait, you can do that? I'm going to need a second <laughs> roll for that. Mm, let's see here, yes. You throw your arm wide and it lands next to the thief. The thief takes your arm and moves out of combat. You lose your arm. Arm chan! Is this. Oh Hold on. <laughs> Is this Marius Alicata Helmet? <laughs> You guys are close. You guys are close. You guys are close. That, that's amazing. Holy <laughs> shit. I love that mine has a straw. Yeah. That's that's, 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 the, the, that's the merriest way. That's the merriest way. Uh, so, um, oh Naomi, God. do you remember asking about uh, deflect missile with the cow? Yeah. Well, this uh, is a this is oh. a possible scenario that could happen. Oh my God. Amazing! Oh my God. I love it. Holy shit! <laughs> I think that's a like Smash a Brothers bag. move. I think that's a Smash Brothers move over there. Yeah. <laughs> We got a Mary sticker. Yo, yo, that's yo. Sick. Man, that's like your, your avatar, your Overwatch avatar. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know? Man, like, I wish we had shit. stickers for everyone else though. Oh wait, we do. Oh! Oh! That's so cool. No! <laughs> 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 the R2D2 screen. Yeah. Wow. Speaking, speaking of R2D2, use the many faces of Marius. You can tell. This is oh my god. Aww. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh. Dude, mine is that is great. super tempting. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, the little dots changing to an ooh yeah. face. Let's so take good. a look at uh, Gareth. This is what his full art. Thank you so much for sharing, Lobos. Look at this. Mm -hmm. look at this. Amazing. Look at the chisel. What a handsome Amazing. lad. A what handsome a... lad. What a handsome motherfucker. Oh, I just realized you have two different colored eyes. Mm. Yes. Is that yes. the scar is natural do that. color That's... or? Y yes. Mm. Wait, yes. eye color or hair color? Your uh, <laughs> your eye color. Chromium. Oh yeah, no, because of the scars. Don't act like you color. just noticed. Marius has been staring into his eyes oh. this session oh, one. My. I'm trying to be subtle, Dungeon Master. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you Damn. fucking with my game? Uh, <laughs> by the way, Ooh. holy snap! The artist who did that uh, made it super fast, and it, he made a bunch of variants for me. He's super mm. awesome. Holy shit. Who was the artist? Oh, God. Uh, 
Oh, oh no! Wait. Well, moving Hooray. on. <laughs> in the meantime, Yay. damn his legs. Oh, oh he, had, he had to go to the bathroom. He had to run to the bathroom real quick. He's he's got, he's peeing. He'll be right back. He'll be right okay. back with the artist's name. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've got Naomi awesome. over here. Oh, this is so. made by Enio. I I N N E O on Twitter. <laughs> it's so cute. Spell so it again. Cute. Spell it I again. I N N E O. I I N N E O. I I N. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> Fucking continuing on. Hey, Lexicon, Whoa. the new Ivers campaign. Marius drawing armor. Uh, this is uh, Marius in the nice little flowery style. Thank you so much. It's really pretty. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Whoa, yo. That's the work in progress. It's not done. <laughs> oh, well, I'll do it. Zoom, zoom. Who, uh, who, uh, oh, I thought you thought. <laughs> Zoom zoom. I thought you meant zoom in. No, oh, no. <laughs> zoom zoom. <laughs> zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. Oh shit! Oh god! Enhance. <laughs> Dungeon master, you will not take away my ability. <laughs> Sorry. Funny. So let's move it on. A yes. Uh, the artist's name is uh, uh, Benedict Bana. Mm. He's really dope. I follow him on Twitter. He's super cool. <laughs> Doom guy, Marius. Hey, yo. <laughs> nice. It's so. It's so. It was super tempting when I was first making Marius. I was gonna give him. He was gonna go Doom Slayer. He was gonna have a super shotgun. Uh, but I was like, I'm gonna. I'll stick with the maneuver arms. I'll, <laughs> I'm gonna give him a huge hammer instead. All right. We got Harley themed over here. Hey, nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the voice, isn't it? It's the voice. Here's uh, Marius' true form, obviously. <laughs> oh! Oh my Shit. god! Obviously. Fan, I can hear the music, which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Uh. Would know was a, was a uh, phase two character, but there is an idea that Marius is being controlled by a gnome this entire time. Perfect. Wait, I, but the arm is still yes. the same size, oh. so he just has one insane. That arm. is the that is the worst because I I hate gnomes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That that physically hurts me. <laughs> I just stop any time now. I could just stop any time. Just, just not, not now. Just not right now, okay? Don't Lexicon worry. coming in. What the, the hell? These are so amazing. pretty. Why? I love flowers. Flowers are my favorite thing. Thank you. Aww. Whoa. Ooh. Hot. Damn. Hello. Uh, uh, Boom Raider, yeah, step oh, aside. Oh, Work in progress <laughs> of our yeah. armor boy. What well, color? Ooh. That's our <laughs> vibes. Holy shit. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Imagine being that restless, though. Yeah. <laughs> Barely aware. Oh this God. creature moving 150 feet oh around you. My oh, my God. God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Shit. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Trips over the whip. Oh explodes when she hits the ground. All right, gang. Bad news. No D&D &D next week. Good <laughs> news. Good news. D&D &D on the 28th of September. So. Oh, yeah. Next week. Huh? Well, we got a uh, player is not going to be available. So no D&D &D next week. You can still play D and D though, but no one else will be here. <laughs> so I apologize wow. for that. Okay, I'm used to oh playing God. with myself. It's no, fun. It's, me too. Me too. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much. It's been an absolute delight. Loving this campaign already after second session. Um, I'm having a blast. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys are having fun too. And we'll uh, we'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you. It's been so awesome so far. Have a good one, guys. You bye, as bye. Well. bye bye. bye. bye.